something again trouble with the transmogrifier even though our or the internet I set things and I save the changes and shit doesn't happen so you should see a bunch of fucking characters now yeah. um, a, a couple Indiana, others I see, I see Indiana jo or I mean Nevada Jones sorry yeah, yeah. totally now, um, Indiana Jones I, I would I would totally change the name if you could um, but um, there's a couple other pregens, but the, like the transmogrifier doesn't want to work and bring them over. So I'm really not too sure what the fuck's going on. So I have enough choice right now. Uh, what the fuck is this? So launch this game. Uh, in other words, there's like another set of uh, characters additional to those pregens you could play if you want. You have to get uh, the transmogrifier to work. And it's not working for me. I think I'll be good with Doctor Nevada Jones. I will probably die soon anyway, so... It's, uh... Why? Possible. After that, I'll look into, like, making my own, uh, My own character, if that's something we're doing. You can make your own character, if you like, yeah. I mean, we're in New York City, so I don't know what you Indiana know, Jones guy's doing around. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, so that's, that's, that's one thing you should consider. What do you... Why is... Why is you here? Mm. What the fuck are you up to? Maybe he's been called in to uh, um, um, appraise, or not appraise, I mean, I mean confirm the authenticity of um, a. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, an artifact that was found recently? What artifact could it be? What are your specialty? Let's see, let's see. It would probably be an ancient culture, so let's say like a Mayan artifact or something like that. Okay. So be it. Mayan artifact. That's your expertise in South American um, pre Columbian art. Yeah. Alright. So, so then, how would you know any of these characters? Are any of them studying at the university or have anything to do with history? History? Well, Conan's can buy your things, which is a famous character, by the way. Oh, that's something she would do. I'm also not sure if I would sell my stuff. I used to deal in antiques, but I wasn't very good at it. Uh, one of my meaningful, actually my only meaningful location is a bar where strong drinks are sold and where I can forget my troubles. So, ah, that, if sounds anybody's like, into booze. that sounds like my kind of place. <laughs> Right? That sounds like a, that sounds like a start. Like we've got a, a reason for you to possibly connect it to the team. Because I don't want I don't want I don't want to do the you meet in a bar randomly to introduce a new guy. Mm. No, right. so, so, so you meet at a speakeasy. Well, <laughs> 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 oh, not randomly, of course, right? I mean, before you guys go to the speakeasy, you could say you already know the guy. <laughs> Maybe we've met at the speakeasy before. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, all right. So here's the thing. Okay, great. So, um, how are you? How and why would you guys get um, uh, Nevada Jones involved? Well, I guess it depends on which speakeasy he went to that we went to, right? Well, I want to. I want to make. I don't want to just randomly. Like, there should be a reason why you want to talk to him. That's why. If he's got a background in Colombian art. And you guys know something, or you know well, someone. I want to buy some guns, and maybe, uh, maybe uh, he. I don't know. That was he he should buy a gun <laughs> for sale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can never know. No, maybe because I haven't been finding stuff recently. I've also been smuggling guns out of. Uh, <laughs> Why would you have to smuggle guns? It's the United States. I mean, they give uh, you know guns away for 
free in kindergarten. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> I know, but seriously, like you wouldn't you wouldn't need to smuggle weapons, like yeah, no, that's true. Unless you're smuggling some kind of, I mean, you can even buy Tommy guns legally. This is the like that, that as in my understanding Maybe. is it's not, it's not difficult to acquire guns, especially in 1920s USA. So that gun Maybe. smuggling, we'd be smuggling military weapons to other countries. Not, Maybe not he's smuggling uh, single malt, and that's how I know him. <laughs> so, Nevada Jones, you are helping to smuggle alcohol in. That is actually a very logical thing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it depends on what's going to be right. Remember, you guys, I mean, you it guys are just, you know. It says he's, he's from Canada, Canada so, so maybe that's, that's where we get, get the, the connection. connection. Right? Yeah. He's a smuggler from Canada? Yeah, that could be, yeah. His father and discovered many the battlefield of Shadowbrow's father. Uh, yeah, so you're not really Indiana Jones. You're like the wannabe Indiana Jones. Yeah, exactly. Lost treasures, bars. Uh, so then maybe somehow at some point, you know, you guys, um, you know, one of you. Uh, Uh, you know, um, came in contact with him at another at a bar somewhere, right? Not the hell he was being easy, but so whatever. Right? It's, and so, why are you going to call him to accompany you to the next speakeasy, uh, where you are currently? Your your goal is to uh, meet a professor, and that is what what is next here. So, do we know Maybe, about his well, alliances uh, and smuggling? Uh -huh. You tell me. You so can, you how well can acquainted are you with the speakeasy that you're currently at? Uh, they're how? not at the. No, they're not. They're not at the speakeasy. Oh. I, I, I want to oh. sort of first get this relationship out of the way. Well, I was involved with smuggling. With uh, was it was it Bill Cassidy, who died in the uh, lighthouse? So maybe, oh. maybe mm. we we were involved in smuggling together with. Um, what was his name? Was it Bill Cassidy? Nevada. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, where's, where's my backstory? Um, yeah, Cassidy. I can't remember whether it was Bill Cassidy or not. Um, so, and I, I still have... Um, I still carry the, the letter from Cassidy because I was a bit, a bit gutted about the fact that he died. Okay. All right, so then I'd say yeah, maybe you've uh, and you've also heard about like my profession, my other profession, um, where I dig up artifacts, and I just use my alcohol smuggling trade to pay for all my extensive trips because no university will hire me anymore because artifacts keep disappearing wherever I find them. Ah, okay. So if artifacts keep on disappearing wherever you find them. Uh, then we have perhaps then uh, you you also uh, may or may not have a connection to Elizabeth. Uh, uh, yeah, what would she do? Elizabeth also deals with art. Art. I would say most of the art doesn't go to other people though. I just have a secret bunker in Canada where I keep all my art <laughs> and my art defense. I see, they've so you, never been able. Yeah, they've never been able to prove that I steal the artifacts because I'm I, so good at smuggling. I see. Hey, I see. You steal does that them work? Your... Yeah, maybe, sure. But I do not have a lot of artifacts because I'm not as good as my dad. Indeed. Why is this so difficult? Like, by the way, is the music playing? It is. Yeah, yeah, there is. Oh man, I, I, I can't hear it. I'm one of these fucking stupid problems. I just can't fucking hear the music. I don't know why. It's very annoying. Guy, it could be your settings in your um, Discord. Go over to user settings. And then go to the voice and video. And then the output device should be whatever it is, but it should say stereo in there. Mm. So check that drop down menu. Hmm. 
I mean, the output device, it was a default. Uh, and I really only have speakers, my real tech speakers that are part of my laptop. This is weird. Um, yeah, I, I, I could use my headset at the moment, but I just, just, I'm just not. Because it's, it's really hot and I'm lazy. I'm trying to drink water. And, uh, but. I don't think that should really cause a problem, but maybe, maybe. So if I put my headset uh, on. I'm sure you guys complain when I've already got my winter coat out and I'm crying on the way to work every morning. It's like, it's been in the 90s today. It's been in the fucking 90s. Yeah, and that means nothing to me as a European. <laughs> I have What's no my, idea how well how that, that is. Temperature system, man! It's about no, it's like 37 today. Yeah, high 37. Oh, that, that's for a uh, hot. In one part, part of Brazil, I think it got up to 44. I know it's like, was it like 15 or 16 today here? Nice. Oh, that's, that's nothing. That's great. Uh, yeah, I still can't hear the music, but that, that's okay. All right, well, anyway, so we're going to say that uh, regardless, uh, you guys have, um, uh, you know, have come in contact with each other for one reason uh, or another. Uh, and, uh, you guys are going to go meet, and actually I've changed the location uh, from what I wrote down, uh, where you guys are going to go meet a professor. Um, what are they meeting this professor about? Like, what I've heard about it? Uh, I don't know. But that That is up for you guys to, to figure out. Why are you involved? Why are you going to end up being at the... You know, why have they called you? Huh. So I think so I have some relevance probably as an archaeological professor, right? I mean, you know stuff about, you know, South America. That is your... Mm -hmm. uh, Mexico, it seems like you said Aztec. So, uh, you know, you're probably... Your, your, in, your understanding is more Central American Mexico. So why the fuck are they calling you? Why are you involved, sir? Uh, well, guys, well, uh, <clears throat> what, what are you currently like investigating? What are you going to talk about with this guy? That way we can figure out if it's useful for me to be there or not. I don't remember, actually. The last thing I remember was blowing up that uh, house that I see you. We were we were put on a retainer, weren't we? Um, to uh, to be available to go and do things. Oh no, guys! Don't you remember you had the reading of the will? We did. Uh -huh. I remember and that. You got, so you guys got stuff. Anybody remember what stuff you got? Ah uh, no. Great, you got nothing then. <laughs> <laughs> it makes life yeah. easy for me. <laughs> but I got money and the recorded. You got used. You guys used chewing gum and a half smoked cigar. <laughs> oh. uh, no, the the reading of the Mary uh, Mether uh, Mary Weather uh, will was tumultuous because the son and his wife uh, were incensed that any of you got anything. Um, you actually got a fair portion of money from Meriwether's estate. Uh, you uh, received um, a trust fund, uh, which you can draw from, um, but which must be expensed with the lawyers, uh, and um, or money must be requested from the lawyers. Uh, you guys uh, got a car. Um, you guys have the eternal ire of the son, who has uh, basically threatened to make sure that you are, you know, wh whatever it is that you did to manipulate his father into giving you um, his, you know, uh, you know, this, uh, his fortune, um, he will find out and he will destroy all of you. I mean, that's essentially what he said. Um, what, what car did we get? I don't remember the car. I, I don't know if I gave you right. I mean, it's not like a, like a Packard or something. Nothing 
it's not a Royals Royce or anything. The guy is a college professor, uh, but it's a it's a it's a it's a useful car. It's a car that'll take you places. It's not a Rolls Royce. I don't want it. Let him have it. Okay. Um, and also, you've got a notebook full of apparently his research, but not his professional literary research. It seems to be sort of like a journal full of newspaper clippings and notes about all sorts of strange going ons throughout the country. And you guys still have uh, the strange artifact, i.e. the uh, extravagantly well-kept sarcophagus. Tell me, you use the sarcophagus to pay someone? And technically, you still have the lease to the now burnt hmm. down farmhouse. Maybe Dave asked me to come and inspect the sarcophagus. Even, even though I'm specialized in, um, in, uh, what do you call it? In the, the central, um, uh, Central, Central, America, Central, Central America and Mexico. Yeah. Uh, Me Mezzo, isn't I, it? Mezzo. I do love me. Yeah, Mezzo America. There you go. Mezzo America. That's correct. Michael. But, but, but actually, Nevada Jones is, is still an archaeology professor. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, I technically still am, yeah. So what do you, what do you, what do you, do you still have a job as a professor? Where are you teaching? Well, I'll probably be kept on retainer at uni. Actually, yeah, yeah, all right. Let's say that I'm still teaching. So where um, might you be? Residence is New York City, I'm going to say, at the point, because that's where you're living. Yeah. Well, what if uh, you are, happen to be, um, teaching somewhere in New York. You'd be at the City University of New York, uh, or an adjunct, you know, you're a guest professor at NYU, uh, attached to the momentarily attached to the Museum of Natural History. There are all sorts of reasons why you would want to be in New York. So I want you to figure that out. Um, yeah, but maybe it's a better you... idea if instead of me being a smuggler, I actually am still a teacher. And um, I was teaching at uh, uh, what school is the professor you guys are meeting from? Columbia. I don't know. Columbia. You're that good. I don't think you're that good. <laughs> I don't think I'm that good either. But um, maybe I Columbia do know. He's a. What kind of professor is he? He's an associate professor of classical studies. Oh uh, yes, the the professor is an associate professor of classical studies. The the one that they maybe, call. Maybe you supply him with single malt whiskey. No, but it could be that we've um, met before on like an egg or something. Uh, maybe. Well, uh, a classicist wouldn't be. He's not an archaeologist. There's one thing you probably both like doing. You said you like drinking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Honestly. You like ancient history and ancient cultures. You might have talked to each other. Uh, there was certain another thing if you like drinking well i mean you would definitely during the during the um uh during the depression i'm not fresh i'm sorry the prohibition you would be going to da -da 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 -da, speakeasies yeah now being a professor you may not have a lot of money so you may not be i mean you could uh you know spend some cash and go to the big speakeasies like the kind of club and stuff but there's like thousands of speakeasies all over new york and hundreds all over harlem and some of the speakeasies in harlem are, are black and tans in other words they are not segregated by not completely you know they actually allow um you know african americans and um caucasians to go to the same place because the big swanky ones uh that you would find in uh harlem uh, they are actually quite segregated uh they are really uh, for white only and also very yeah yeah they're very high end also they're fucking you know um relatively expensive nights to go right they're clubs but also all of them uh the cotton club 
uh, I don't know if you report on the Cotton Club, but it's white patrons, but black entertainers. Yes, yes, exactly. And ba- and uh, that way I and, call it the Cotton Club. And black, uh, and black, um, you know, waiters and so forth and so on, wait staff, and and yeah. Uh, it was actually like it was made up to look like an old school plantation. The owner was a was a mobster. Fucking hell, that was racist. The the original uh, the original owner was actually um, Jack, Jack Jones. He was a he was the first like uh, African American black um, boxing champion. But then the the mobster like basically bought him out. So, but yeah, almost all those big places were actually in terms of clientele is when it really makes like whites home. Mm-hmm. So you know, the, but black and tans are places where everybody can go. And Even would this are... professor also be going to some of these clubs? Well, I mean, maybe? if he likes to have a drink, he likes to have a drink. The uh, other, the black and tans are a little bit cheaper uh, than the higher end clubs. Maybe there's a reason you like going to them, um, or maybe you just want to try, you know, check one of them out, or maybe you're fond of women's business there or something. Uh, because that's a place where the Professor Sappington seems to want to have you guys go. Mm-hmm. Uh, the place is called the Sugar Cane Club. It's 5th Avenue and West 135th Street. Uh, so, uh, I presume that for some reason or not, you guys will eventually uh, get there. Mm-hmm. And I guess you Yeah, maybe maybe I was drinking at the, the bar with the Professor before you guys um, were supposed to meet him. And then... Uh, I I join you guys after. Maybe. Like he introduces you guys as a, as I am also a collector of the fine arts. Well, I mean, so you know, here's the thing. Like, uh, for whatever is going to happen, we're going to get just right uh, right into it. Uh, so I'm going to say that uh, uh, you guys uh, uh, have uh, you know spent some days uh, after the will, reading of the will. I mean, you could even have waited a month. I mean, I, I think, I'm not too sure what the timeline was. Uh, it's going to take you guys a while to sort of recover a sanity, if you remember, right? Uh, sanity yes. recovery is, is actually, especially some of you, or, or actually not just sanity, but your wounds. Uh, Do we least, recover any hit points or at sanity least points? Two of, well, again, here's the thing. At least two of you were heavily wounded. Right, and I don't know if we rolled for this. So, if you have a major wound, uh, you must make a healing roll at the end of each week. If successful, they gain one d three hit points or two d three hit points for an extreme success. Yeah, uh, the major wound condition is removed if either an extreme success is rolled or current wounds are healed to half their maximum hit points or greater. It may take a number of weeks for a major wound to heal. So it all depends how many weeks have passed since you guys got, you know, do, do you want to wait? Oh, um, loads and loads of weeks. Be nice. Yeah, you know, a little weeks too. Okay, so then how long would you guys like to have passed before um, you call that you uh, end up actually investigating, asking for a meeting? We were past one week after the hearing, no, until the hearing we went one week, so could it wait more five, four weeks? It's Would that be too much for the game? I, uh, it's, it's fine with me, there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with any of that. So here's my question. No, uh, really yes. awesome. Not exactly, no. It's, it's fine. Like, time, time moves forward. You know, Bruce, you're going to have to, you know, grovel at work and maybe get a demotion, who knows, uh, and do certain things. But uh, anyway, that that will be left for another conversation. So then uh, any of you who had a major wound, and I think the people who had major wounds were definitely Elizabeth yeah. and definitely Bruce. Yeah, Bruce, 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 did you get a major wound? I did, yeah. All right, well then, first we'll start with Boothby. Boothby, uh, if it's going to be four weeks overall, uh, then what I want you to do is you have to make a healing roll, uh, which is a uh, equal to or underneath your con. So I need you to do that four times. So I, I do a con roll, do I? Exactly. Okay. So that's one. Oh, Extreme shit. success. Wait. Ooh. Great. 
So nice. then the major wound is uh, conditions removed with either extreme success is rolled. Okay, please roll two d three. Uh, yeah, two, slash three. roll two d three. Uh, yeah. You, <laughs> you that's get good. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. You're gonna get two hit points back, but then, without a major wound, characters naturally heal. One hit point per day. Ah. So, how many hit points do you have left for full? Um, six. Okay. So then, all right. Uh, Boothby, I'm gonna say Boothby. It takes you two weeks. For full health. Woohoo! Okay, great. Um, then Elizabeth, let's go. Roll some con checks. Oh nope. All right, so that's one. Still majorly wounded. Uh, two still majorly wounded. Three still majorly wounded. All right, four. All right, great. So that means you're going to roll 4d3 at the end of four weeks, and you're no longer major wounded. Four d3. Yep, four d3. Because the first two were regular. The first two weeks, you uh, you gain one d3 hit points, and then the extreme success at the at end of the month is two d3. Hey, um, Kai, can you fix my token? I, uh, oh, wait a minute. I So I uploaded the new thing. Uh -huh. Um, I, I did. So what should I... All right, you, you uploaded the table, right? Yeah, the new one. Yeah. Okay, click roll on the table, uh, token on the table. Okay, um... Yeah. Okay. okay. Now um, link it to my sheet. It's this. It's this. It's this one. I'm. I'm moving yep. around. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Give me something. Token Oh, that's what that's when I fucked I fucked up. Uh oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Bro, magic points. I'm loving his music. It sucks. I can't, I can't hear it. Oh, I, can't hear it. Okay. I can't hear it. Yeah. So then, um, Anthony, did you roll a um, barrel? I did. So uh, can I now save it to my sheet? It should be saved. That should have. I should have fixed it. Oops. 
Is it not fixed? Well, when I just pulled it, it doesn't, it's not letting me right click. This one up ah. here is letting me right click. I just, um, what the fuck? I just spent the last, <laughs> just spent the last five minutes fixing it. <sighs> I'll just delete the token that's there and add this one. Yeah, I know, it's, it's, I'm telling you Twitter date. I'm, I'm relaunching. Okay. Uh, now I hear the music. All right. Wait. Now there's like three tokens there. Yeah, that's because I've been pulling them out. Okay. So that this one is not working. Is that what you're that one, this that one is working. Okay. But when I pull a token from my sheet, it, it doesn't, doesn't work. Is that one? I just fucking chose that one. All right. Hold up. Look, you see, it's only got one bar. Yeah, but that's this, weird this, because this I one's just got three bars. I just edited. I just edited this that token using the token editor in your sheet, <laughs> which is why I'm I'm surprised it's not working. No, don't don't uh, edit it with the token editor in the sheet. Edit it manually. But doesn't the token editor fix it just the same? I don't think so. I, I think so because I've been doing that with other stuff. Um, so I'm gonna remove it again. Remove. Yeah, it, it really should work. I've been using a token editor that it's been working fine before. So uh, it might that's not done. function with the, the the table. Yeah. Okay, that should be okay here. All right, there it is. I just pulled one out. So yep. pull out your character. Yep. It work. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll delete that one. Okay. Um, so what the hell? How was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. So, um, my turn. Uh, hold up. What the fuck is this? Okay, that's, uh, yeah, it's a darkness. Oh yeah, you got five hit points. All right. Um, okay, and then Yuri, go ahead. Okay, first speech. No. Zero. No. Zero. Oof. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's one. Okay. So you are no longer wounded. Okay. okay. Roll me two d three. Okay, go four. Okay, so through. Okay, so clearly you all maybe waited a month, right? Because that's the and you waited until Elizabeth, uh, whatever, recovered. And so then uh, you're gonna. If you spend another week, you're gonna get another max of seven hit points. So you should be up to maximum. That means okay. that everyone should be up to maximum. And I don't know if Elizabeth is up to maximum or not. I'm at eight. Uh, so that that's where we are at the end of a month. But during that month, of course, certain things have happened. But most importantly, you eventually got in contact back and forth uh, with a professor, um, and uh, the professor um, has uh, asked you to meet him at uh, the Sugar King Club, okay, on uh, Saturday night. Uh, and so, uh, you guys will eventually get your way down uh, to the Sugar Cane uh, Club. Uh, the Sugar Cane Club uh, is, I, uh, he tells you, like, uh, be ready. It's, um, I hope you enjoy it. It's my favorite place. I mean, um, I, he, he sends you a letter, essentially, because you're writing letters back and forth. Uh, it's a little rough around the edges, but this will... Uh, if you really want to know culture, this is where to go. Uh, and so, at this point in time, of course, uh, you know, the, the nightlife of Harlem is the place to be. Uh, so, where you guys are going to get to is basically uh, on 133rd Street, uh, 
any of you guys who know a little bit about New York at this time, uh, you know that uh, 133rd Street between Lenox and 7th Avenue is called uh, Jungle Alley. Uh, and that is where, you know, the, the majority of New York socialites are going to go when they want to experience something besides downtown Broadway. They want to go slumming and hanging out at the two joints, the jazz clubs. Um, so it's exploded over the last couple of years. And, you know, uh, at this point, uh, at some point, I did, this year would have been the opening of the Cotton Club, uh, the opening of uh, Connie's as two of the uh, uh, bigger, more famous places. And you will eventually go down that that way, and it's like just busy. Uh, it is just banging. There's you know, uh, there's lights everywhere, various uh, you know, neon signs. Uh, the streets are are full of of cars, uh, Pontiacs, and Franklin sedans, elegantly dressed, you know, people uh, walking around. Uh, uh, funny enough, most of the elegantly dressed people that you see when you're passing some of the lines up front of some of the clubs is, you know, these are elegantly dressed 1920s flappers, uh, wealthy upper crust uh, New Yorkers, apparently. Uh, and, uh, you know, everyone's in, like, shirt, tuxedo, suit. You know, these are really finely dressed people. Uh, uh, out, of the, out of the lot of you, the only person who is probably finely dressed uh, would be Elizabeth Cummings herself. Um, I produce, I presume, Boothby's in a uh, sort of rumpled. Sh oh, well, actually, it depends. D are you guys wearing the nice suits that you got exactly. from the? No, all right. So then, if if you guys are, then you guys are dressed in the nines. Bruce Whitworth, you're going to have to come along. Uh, you feel uncomfortable realizing that you are now going into illegal dens of iniquity. That depends. Do I still have my job? Ah, uh, yeah, sort of. We'll talk about that later. It's not important right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if, if, if Bruce needs gainful employment, I'm sure we can discuss something. I mean, you know, maybe Bruce has been put back on, on yeah, the squad for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe maybe a detective, you know. Maybe they've they put him on um, a street job. I mean, you probably you probably got um, suspended without pay for a little while, and then um, demoted for a little while, possibly. So we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't and, know. and his That's credit rating went up, right? So do do cops usually trust cops who all of a sudden come into money? Yeah, I I'm sorry. Go ahead, Yuri. No, uh, I also didn't uh, receive the money, so technically I still the same amount of liquid money that I had. Before. Yeah, remember, you your trust fund is kind of held by the lawyers. Like you still have to ask for it, but in terms of sort of you know, virtual increase in your credit rating, it's technically a 20% with some strings attached. But the thing is that uh, Bruce Whitworth is rich anyway. This is why everyone at the precinct hates him. <laughs> I'm not rich. I'm not rich. My family's rich. It's a very different. It's very nah, different. well, they can just tell by your accent and so forth and so on. I mean, that, there's a reason they, 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 they basically harass you all the time. I mean, they, they know who you are or they figured out who you are. Uh, okay, so uh, that said, uh, so um, you guys are going to eventually, you know, you're dazzled sort of uh, by the lights down here. I, I'm sure Elizabeth is kind of familiar with it. She's been down here before. Uh, Boothby, are you a jazz Harlem man or not? Oh, yes. Oh. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, so you know your way around. Uh, somewhat. I mean, clearly, you know, uh, uh, it. When you take a, a you know, walk past uh, this area, um, and then move on your way to to 
towards Fifth Ave and 135th Street. You know, it doesn't take like a block or two before. There's more juke joints, but they're smaller, right? Uh, and the streets become more predominantly uh, African American. It's much more uh, uh, blacks uh, hanging out now, uh, walking about just about two, three blocks off. I mean, you still see, you know, uh, set certain bands of more adventurous young uh, Caucasians moving around, but you know, maybe waiting in line to some of these places. And all around you, you know, there's just a lot of noise, a lot of chatter. Uh, you know, you can hear the music coming from all the various, you know, uh, different locations, even though the doors are closed. But, you know, some of these, you know, obviously are some fake facades. It's, it, it's, you know, a open secret about what's going on. Uh, and so uh, eventually you guys uh, get yourself uh, to... You know, uh, the address that was given to you. And so, um, you know, you get there and there's sort of a line of people waiting out front of uh, this, uh, this place. And uh, you see uh, a tall, you know, well-built you know, black man. Um, uh, who is, you know, standing in front of a, of a metal door. Uh, he seems to have, like, a long... Uh, you know, there's, I guess there's, like, a window area. And, uh, you know, when um, there's someone else up front, right? Um, I guess, you know, he's kind of, like, looking at people and talking to them as they come in. Um and, uh, you know, you hear, you can hear like a chain sort of dragging across metal uh, and some kind of metallic noise eventually the door opens. So, you know, you've been told, you know, to ask for so-and-so, you've given a name. Uh, and eventually, you know, again, there's a lot of people here uh, standing in front. You can smell the... You know, the uh, fragrant aroma of marijuana. From uh, being so being smoked. Matter of fact, probably while you're there, you'll probably be propositioned by someone. Uh, finally, you know, a, a well dressed, you know, very, uh, you know, sort of, um, how should I say, snazzy suited man comes up to you and asks if you guys are interested in some. Uh, you say he's wearing uh, a zoot suit? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're not quite at the zoot suit age, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it doesn't, it's it, it's it's not what a, the uh, you know the midtown businessman would wear. <laughs> it's a little bit flashier. Okay. It cuts a little different. I what think zoot suits didn't come out till the fifties, man. Uh, Are you want to know if you want to buy buy some marijuana? Is there a chance that? They he would recognize me from last time. Uh, no. Uh, oh, have you been here before? Um, have you bought marijuana from him before? It's possible that you smoke marijuana and doesn't, and doesn't remember. <laughs> I, I mean. Oh yeah, yeah I remember, remember you guy. guy. <laughs> Your guy, right? <laughs> I can't remember. Did did Boothby did did he do coke in the hotel? He I did, don't know. Did he? That's I can't remember. That's that's for you to tell me. Do you think we, Boothby would do coke? I thought he was just I thought he was just drinking whiskey from a cologne bottle. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So no, probably not then. In that case, I think he's a. Uh, Alcohol is his thing, yeah. All right, yeah, well, I mean, but uh, you can get about 10 reefer cigarettes for about a dollar. Oh, in that case, yes. Okay. He's willing to try anything. He All right. To be out of a yeah, I, I, I will buy 10 reefer cigarettes as well. <laughs> and I will give right. one of those reefer cigarettes to Bruce and say, you need to chill out, my man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Drink wheat. No problem, right? And so, uh, and so you get a, you know, you get some uh, pantellas, 
uh, and uh, exchange some money. Uh, and eventually you are uh, not going to have a problem uh, um, since you've, you've got a, a name. For, for whatever reason, you find it pretty strange that uh, this professor seems to know a place like this. But, um, you know, uh, there's all, all sorts of people in town in a place like New York City. Well, uh, you are going to eventually be taken down a long flight of stairs once you get in. Uh, and you can hear the sort of laughing and the music yeah, that's echoing uh, up uh, these uh, lo these uh, steep stone uh, uh, flight of stairs. Uh, and it starts getting a little bit hotter and smokier as you get downstairs. And the sound of the music being played uh, is getting, you know, louder. And eventually you're going to get to... Um, and you're going to get a chance to get more music on the... And, and so, you know, you're going to get down to a smoky sort of basement room. Um, you know, it's wider than it's longer. Uh, it's a bit sort of damp uh, in here. You've probably come a bit early, so it's not totally packed yet. Um, so there might be some open tables. Um, and um, so... You know, you look around and it's, you know, it's, it's very lively. You got people, you know, the, the music's playing and, and you see the dance floors uh, full of couples dancing and very dynamic. Uh, you know, the, the, the beat's going and I have to get sort of better music. This is a bit slower than I wanted to. And, you know, you, you notice like, you know, a couple people look at you who seem to maybe be, you know, some of the only non-black customers in here at the moment. Um, but, um, you, um, you know, you're gonna, um, one of the, one of the uh, waiters is gonna come and, and go, hello, ma'am, sir, uh, oh, we've got some open tables, would you like to sit? Of course. Well, and, uh, uh, come along here. Um, and so, you know, there's like, they're like big home. tables. Hey, you guys on? Uh, it's more than a... So they're, they're kind of like shared tables. There's not a lot, you know, the, the ones, the smaller tables already filled up. And so eventually you are going to be uh, taken to uh, one of these sort of tables up near one of the walls. Uh, and there's already a couple of people you know, sitting there. Uh, one of the people you see sitting there uh, is a Nevada Jones. Describe yourself. How will you appear here? Um, well, I would say I still uh, I'm, I'm wearing some casual clothes, you know. I'm not really dressed out for a night out in town, but I'm also looking extremely bad. Okay. Uh, I'm wearing my hat. Um, got a bit of stubble, <clears throat> and uh, yeah. Well, uh, I look a bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit I, like I look like an attractive man. Uh, I'm a bit on the smaller side. Though. All right. So you already known. You already known to everyone here, right? So you know they asked you. So, so like you, uh, you um, you might have left a, a, a note for someone, but uh, you know. Uh, you, you know, you recognize them as, as they come in, right? And as they're sat down at a table next to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the table is, like, probably big enough for, like, eight people, you know, maybe eight people if you kind of shoved everyone together, right? And there's another man a little further down the... Um, a little further down on the table. Um, she hasn't talked to you at all. Right, you were sat next to him. Um, he's just sort of like just staring at the band, uh, tapping his fingers, looking around, looking at you, being very quiet. So you already know this about uh, him, right? And you've only been there it's about ten minutes uh, by the time he got this. You see this. I would probably be nursing a um, like a whiskey or something, something strong. And 
Uh, okay, I mean, well, well, yeah. you see people that you know. Oh yeah, come in. And I, uh, uh, I think we we decided that I didn't necessarily know them, right? Or are they walking in with the professor? No, you you know you've been waiting here, and the professor hasn't mm -hmm. shown up. Uh, okay. But I mean, we already agreed, right? Weren't you going to know someone? Uh, something about somebody here. Well, um, we originally we discussed about Nevada supplying me with single malt whiskey, but I don't know whether we um, we agreed on that in the end or not. I think we decided that it was more probable that I actually knew the the teacher, um, and that we occasionally met in these speaking easies and had drinks together and discussed like ancient oh, civilizations okay, okay, and stuff. Okay, okay. So, so what, wouldn't it be um, like, like more uh, character linked if he knew Rudolf? Isn't Rudolf in, in the uh, uh, Yeah, okay. In the teaching field? Right, yeah, Rudolf Rudolf is I'm totally, I, I totally forgot what Rudolf was into. Um, Rudolf is an artist. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And um, so Rudolph is, I believe, is like a poet and a writer. So less, less well, part of that. I mean, how, how was he going to appraise the ancient Egyptian shit for for me then? If he was a fucking poet? No, because I think I think the thing is that he has a extensive history in art. He has extensive art and art history. Oh. Rudolph. Right, I think that was the point. Like, for example, Rudolph has a high anthropology score and a Hydra score. Yeah, so he has a like a, a background in like history and anthropology, but I believe he's actually technically a writer. Okay. And at least that's how he, you know, that's what his vocation is. So, you know, there's always a reason that, I mean, you know, maybe you. And Elizabeth have met before? Maybe you and Booth have met before? I mean, you are a professor, but you do deal with archaeological art pieces, don't you? Maybe, maybe it's a historical thing. Maybe uh, Jones and I both worked with Cassidy when Ca Cassidy was asking me to uh, dispose of smuggled artifacts. Maybe maybe we have Cassidy in common. Well, I th I think it would be easiest if you guys just already know each other, right? Um, and and the, the sense that you know, uh, you may know the professor. Like it's just a triangular thing. You may know the professor, but you know maybe when the professor said he was going to go meet some people. And, and he said, "Who was going to meet?" Like, it, you know, oh, the you know, the name just happened to ring a bell. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, you dealt with Elizabeth or with this Booth B. Gaffo before, and that's why you wanted to tag along. You have no other reason, except that you actually know them. And so, you know, you guys just sit right um, as you get there, and uh, you know, while you're talking, the you know, the band just kicks into a sort of more up tune and. And you know, very quickly the dance floor just like breaks out, right? and you just uh, you know see um, uh, you know the whole crowd starts like you know uh, you know uh, what do you call it you know clapping her you know clapping her thighs or or stomping her feet. Everybody gets up and and you know the dance just gets on, right? And this 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 juke joint is jumping. Um, and uh, so uh, over the noise of the crowd and uh, the the sounds, you got to just you know guess you say hello to each other. All right, so let's play it out. Nevada Jones, you are definitely known to Elizabeth Cummings. Elizabeth Cummings, you for ever whatever reason you've been in contact with Nevada Jones. If you ever met him or you've only written to him, um, you know, or Boothby you met him. So one of you goes like, I know this guy. Well, don't you Hmm? Don't you own a suit? I do own a suit, yes. What is of concern to you? It could be a little bit more I didn't actually expect up. to see you here. This is a, a fancy, fancy establishment. 
Uh, I can see you're not from around New York anymore, are you? If you consider this fancy. Won't you have a dance with me, Elizabeth, to celebrate good old times and seeing each other again? I don't think I'm drunk enough to dance. Okay. Alright, well, what do you drink nowadays? <sighs> I occasionally die down on the load of my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm just, just kidding. kidding. Uh, why? <clears throat> All right, I'll see if they have any uh, on stock. And if that is going to work over to I drink single malt, by the way. Nevada looks at you and he says, uh, uh, I can't quite remember your name. What was it again? Griffo. Boothby Griffo. Now remind me, um... <clears throat> Elizabeth usually has a lot of attractive young men run hunting around her. Have I ever seen you before? He kind of stares at you, waiting for your answer. <laughs> your face looks familiar, but I can't quite place you. Have you ever done any work up near the Canadian border at all? Ah. Uh... It's probably best not to talk about that right here, right now. Oh, yes, then I probably do know you. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Uh, so the man who's also sitting at your table, he's probably two chairs away from you. Um, all of you, I mean, it's you know, a little kind of near the end uh, of the table. Um, but again, I mean, this place isn't like huge, but... And it, you know it's a bit sort of tight now because of all the tables and a lot a lot of people on the dance floor, right? Uh, you know, as the music's playing, you sort of hear like a, a high pitched squeal uh, as a uh, as a kind of you know, white flapper girl and her and her and her uh, her man uh, start like uh, jumping in uh, into uh, the uh, under the dance floor, uh, and you actually see visibly sort of like the other people they sort of suddenly like move away a little bit, right? They step away. They're gonna give them some space. In other words, the other African Americans who are sort of dancing there. Is, uh, is, is it like uh, a, is it like, is it like a snooty like, like oh, or is it like a, oh yeah, let's enjoy them while they dance type of let's get out of the way, you know? Uh, uh, you know, well, uh, roll me a psychology check. As you're stare, you know, as you're looking at how, you know, the, the sort of looks on people's faces yeah, and their behaviors. No. Yeah, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're not quite sure. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, you know, you maybe saw like when the curl, like sort of, gave a yeehaw type, not a yeehaw, but like a sort of like a high pitch sort of like, uh, you know, woohoo! Now, there were a couple like dirty looks, you know, and you know, immediately, but then they. You know, it went away quick, quite fast, uh, and just people moved away. But you're, you're too sure. I mean, no one's bumping into him. No one's saying anything to him, right? They seem to be cutting a rug. Um, and so, uh, you know, but you know, if you, if you do notice, somebody give me a a. Uh, Kai, I assume I would notice, man, right? Because I come here more than one. Or I've I've been here before. No, who? No, the guy that just suited up and was like walking through the crowd and stuff. Uh, no, you, no, you wouldn't actually, because you have to understand what's happening here. You know, the, the Harlem is a playground mm -hmm. uh, for all sorts of middle class and wealthy New Yorkers to come. Like, I, I, don't, I mean, they do call they literally do call it slum, right? They go hang out in like this crazy, you know, music scene, this experience, this of this, you know, socially. You know, dangerous African American culture. Yeah, yeah. So I get what you mean. Yeah. You have you have rounds of, you know, basically, you know, young white kids and white girls like coming to hang out, drink. And, mm -hmm. You know, it would be like kids from the suburbs going to New York City and hanging out like the real suburbs, like and then like hanging out at some you know real deal hip hop. Thing, right? Yeah, like, I get yeah, you mean. You know? um, so there's a you know there's a sense of. Um, 
uh, let, let, let us say they're 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 truly just tourists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is what I'm I get what you mean. Yeah, right? and and they look like it. Um, on the other hand, you know what you see around you isn't too hard to notice because you know most to the other people here, you know, you're probably you guys are probably a little bit better dressed than some of the people here because you see, a lot of the people here seem to be, you know, they still have their silk striped uh, shirt sleeves and tan shoes, you know, who might be like stevedores. They look like they might be workers at hotels. Um, it, it looks like literally some, you know, some of the people at the bar, not at the table, you know, they're dressing, you know, simple shirts and suspenders, uh, you know, uh, maybe not have a jacket. Um, so it's, you know, the crowd is mixed in terms of, you know, the quality of dress. It's looking, so it looks like a, not only is it a interestingly like mixed race crowd, uh, and again, that's one of the few places that many of you might, you know, easily experience that, uh, depending on, on where you go and what you do. Uh, but certainly, it's kind of a mixed crowd of class, right? Which is also a bit interesting. Uh, and so, um, uh, you know. Um, the waitress comes over. Uh, she's a very uh, uh, attractive girl. Uh, she says, "What can I get y'all?" Uh, and you get a hint of a of a southern accent there, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. uh, well, how do you do, ma'am? Well, you all fine. seem new here, except for him. Uh, do I know her name, Kai? Roll me a luck check. Luck, alright. How do I actually roll this sheet? You... Do I just press something? Yeah, you click. Yeah, make, make sure it's not it's on edit, edit mode. mode. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why I can't click it. Thank you, Anthony. You, you don't... I do not know her name. Yeah, you don't... You've never seen it before. Like, okay. it's just not one of the per people that you've worked with, that you've worked with before. So you just... You don't know her name. Um, but, um, and she's like, well, um, mm, well, I, I, I can get you all, uh, you look a little bit like maybe you'll go drink a little something nicer. Well, uh, uh, we got some Hennessy that maybe you'll like. Um, I don't think you're going to like the Peter Dawson. And uh, I would not recommend the Lightning here. Except for you. So you look like you'd drink it. <laughs> he just gives you a wink. I'll just Nevada Jones. Yeah, I'll I'll just take you know the, the cheapest we have. My money is a bit uh, down in the sums today. Oh, okay. Down in the sums. Right. Um, and yeah, and so, uh, you know, she kind of like walks past you guys, and she's like, "I'll get you over there." And she goes, oh, "Sir, what can I get you?" And uh, the guy just looks at her. The other guy who sat here and just like waves her away. He's uh, just totally uh, not paying attention. It's sort of like, you know, gives you a dirty look, actually. You can see he kind of scowls a bit at her. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, the band keeps on playing. Um, you know, eventually, you know, a couple of minutes. You know, it's getting hot in here. It's getting a little bit sweatier. I mean, the people are dancing. You know, that's, I, don't, I don't really have the right music, but it's, it's pretty much hopping. Um, and you notice that the guy is just very stern-faced, and he's just uh, drumming his fingers on a table. Um, it's like a job for you, Elizabeth. You could always try and seduce him. Um, and uh, Nevada gives you a wink. Oh, he did try to seduce me once. He's or did I mistake that? Uh, nice. uh, you know, he's... Sorry, go ahead. All lies, Nevada. You know, sometimes the alcohol makes my mind a bit, uh, uh, foggy. She's back to all the cheek. It's okay. <laughs> Not, Not, like, hard, like, you know, like, like a attack. Yeah, no, playful. Yeah. Playful. Um. I. I, I call the waitress over. 
okay, well, you're going to have to try and shout, right? Because now the clubs, like, get loud and lots of, you know, in the last couple of minutes, you know, another big, like, surge of people came down the stairs mm -hmm. uh, and the dance floors, you know, banging. And so you can, you know, put your hand up and, and uh, you know, try and call her over. Um, you, you, you know, know what? what? I'm, I'm going to use this time right now, now since there's a, a surge of people coming through. I'm going to use this time to get up and try to lift this dude's wallet. The asshole. Okay, yeah. Right. Well, um, go ahead. Uh, you're going to need a... If it's hard, I'll, I'll add a luck point to it. A uh, success, I mean... No, um... You know, that, that's okay. Um, yeah, I mean, so tell me, how, how, how do you do it? I, I what do you do? I use, like, the, the people walking by and then in, in, insert myself, and then while I'm in, I, 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 I nudge him. I, I use the girl behind me to nudge him on the right side, and while he looks to his right, I go into his left pocket and, and snatch his wallet. Okay. You know, while you're jostling him and he kind of looks up at you, he's like, oh, be careful, there's seats over there. What's wrong with you people? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, honey. honey. Ugh. And he, you know, he's, you know, he seems quite, you know, just disgusted. He's like, he's like, well, just, you know, just, just watch what you do. Um, and, you know, you see him. He's, he's, he's not a very good-looking man. Uh, you know, he's got this you know, really heavy, bushy eyebrows, almost like a unibrow, right? Um, and, uh, you know, he's sort of like, uh, you know. Oh, oh, almost, you almost caught your hand because he sort of almost like, like, uh, you know, snapped at at, at at people, like almost like trying to slap them away mm -hmm. while you were walking by. Um, All right, I'm making my, my way, way back, back to the, the table. table. Okay. Does it? Does he have any cash in the wallet? Uh. Yeah, let's see. What? How much money do we have? It's not gonna be much. Considering what it's gonna. He's got eight dollars. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna. So he's got. I'm gonna pocket that, and then I'm going to um. Sit down and, and open the wallet and see if I can find an identification. Uh, yes, you do. And you've got a. I believe there would be a driver's license, um, right? Yeah, and uh, or a card, at the very least. And his name is Peter Manusco. Uh, would anyone uh, like to? Uh, is, is anyone uh, skilled in psychology? I am. What do you consider okay. skill? I mean, above you the, have more than more than ten, like base. Yeah, no, more I than ten, more than twenty. Yeah, five ten. What What's your psychology, Bruce? Mine's fifty. Okay. okay. Why don't you roll me a psychology check, please? Success. Okay. Uh, it's evident by the way the man's drumming his fingers, the snappy attitude that he has, um, the way he's sort of like looking, or you know, he's like he, he's trying to look casual, but he's not. He's just way too tense, you know. Although he's looking at the band, he constantly turns his head. You see his eyes scanning the room quite often, uh, and he, you know, you notice that his leg is shaking because you could you could feel a little bit of vibration on the table and you look at his, his kind of legs like, like you know uh, his knees shaking up and down a bit once in a while who's got who's got a really good spot hidden uh, I've I got a new one but I think comes to the banner okay um, then the, uh, the Nevada Jones oh, fuck yeah uh, anyone have anyone have better than 50 in the uh, spot hidden I have 7-7 seven, seven. Oh, but it is a Mine's fifty as well. Wow, Elizabeth. Okay, then, uh, then Elizabeth, I'm going to give it to you. You know, you noticed uh, when you came past him and and you took his wallet uh, that he's just 
you know, slick. His face is just, you know, sheen, you know, uh, of sweat and, and kind of a little bit dripping here and there. I mean, it's hot in here, but it's not that hot. Yeah. I'm just going to say to Elizabeth, right. like... Uh, I mean, I don't, you know... No, you, you, you have a very good uh, extreme success, so you, you do not. Oh. You don't think so. Oh, um, tell me. You look, if you look, you know, you weren't looking for it, but so I'm going to say you didn't notice anything. I mean, he's got his jacket a bit open. He's kind of flapping it a bit, right? That's something you could tell, uh, you know, when you reached in and, and, and dug around for his wallet, which was might have been probably in the ja in the pocket of his jacket. Uh, you would have, you know, might have looked around and didn't seem like he had any kind of holster or weapon on him, but he might have okay. something small hidden somewhere, but it's unlikely. Okay, would I I have seen what Cummings uh, did, stolen his wallet. You're going to have to roll a spot check versus to do okay. to see that. I took a 12, she took how much? Extreme yeah, success. I went back. Yeah, you noticed. You noticed. Uh, I just pass my hand into my eyebrows and well. Wow. Did you notice that he's quite anxious? And then I looked down to her, to his wallet. Should we be worried? Should we be worried about it? I, I believe so. so. I, don't, I don't. I don't trust, trust this man. man. I mean, I his name do is. You uh, know? His name is uh, Pete Manuska. Does it ring a bell? Well, you meet one Pete Manuska, Manuska you, you, meet them, them, you meet them all. <laughs> yeah, that one is expected. And um, so, while, uh, you know, you guys are sort of talking, and, you know, the, the joint is, is, uh, is, is uh, filling up, uh, you know the the, the band up the, you know the band that's playing is is a kind of a simple three piece band. I like the greatest jazz band around, but they're they're all right. And uh, you know time has passed, and you're know, like you have uh, you know basically you have no idea what a professor is. Uh, he hasn't really shown up yet, so you're sort of waiting. Uh, uh, you know why that happened? Go ahead. Yeah, would I know if he's frequently late? Like, is this a thing he always does when we agree to have a drink here? Uh, I would say no. I would say that, um, you know, as a matter of fact, I mean, although it's a bit strange, he doesn't seem like the type of man who would, he would, who would come to a place like this. Uh, you know, he is quite grim and, and sort of proper. Uh, mm -hmm. He is, um, you know, you, you know, although you can have conversations with him, uh, you know, his expertise is in... Uh, Rome and ancient Greece. Like I said, he is a professor of classics, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, in, in in general, you've only had a couple. Of, you know, you, you do come here, and he, and he's, you know, he'll, he'll try and talk to you, but he seems really interested in the music. Okay, right? uh, and he, again, he he does. You know, you find it unusual that a man like him might come here, but uh, yeah. he always seems to actually. Um, let himself bit loose. He doesn't drink that much, right? He's quite controlled. You drink. You normally drink more than he does, uh, and he's normally he's normally on time, and you're not. Uh, so the, uh, while that happens, while you guys are sort of thing, it it seems that uh, near the table there's like a small door, um, and just you guys are kind of uh, up near one of the walls. It's like a, a a small narrow door that you you know maybe didn't you know. Maybe you didn't pay attention. Sort of opens uh, and accidentally sort of slams into the chair uh, of the of this Pete Minusco, right? Who uh, he turns around in, in a in very quickly and in a in an annoyed fashion. Uh, so what you see uh, is that uh, you know there's a very dim light, maybe a dim blinking yellow light that illuminates must be like a very narrow hallway behind there and a tall thin silhouette is 
light it like that. Uh, and uh, a tall, thin African American man comes out in a suit. Uh, he's carrying a, a trumpet in his hands, and he sort of uh, emerges out of this kind of narrow doorway you know, very slowly and carefully. He sort of looks around, uh, sort of blinks a lot, and uh, he's, he's looking at the stage. The small stage where everyone's playing, but it's like through the dance floor and, and across, right past your table, and he's you know looking around and he's caught. He's like caught between you know this guy's chair and you guys uh, and the wall and this door, and he, he looks around and he he sways a little bit. Right, you got a kind of a glassy eyes. Um, you can, whoever's closest to him, you probably smell a little bit of alcohol on him. And then he, he looks around at all of you, real slow, and he looks at, then he looks at this Pete Manusco guy, and he goes, um, oh, sorry, sir, I, I got lost backstage. Oh, would you be so kind as to, to, to let me by? I really apologize. For, for asking, uh, sir. Um, and can I, can I, can I use, use this moment to yes. try to slip the wallet into the trumpet player's pocket? Oof. I know. I, I, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess you could try. Uh, do I recognize this man as oh. man and who plays here often? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, well so, so you walk over, and I guess you sort of start getting up. I don't know what, like, what? How do you do uh, this? What, what do you if, do? if it doesn't go in his pocket and it drops, drops on the floor, I'm gonna, gonna be like, like, "Oh, you, you dropped, dropped something, something, sir." Uh, um, and he, like he, 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 you know, the, you know, the the, the sort of African American man. He looks at you because again, now you're really crowded, right? You have to imagine it's kind of a crowded setting now, right? Mm -hmm. The dance, you, know, you guys are up against the wall. There's a this, this dance floor, a whole bunch of people going on. Who's explaining? This guy's trying to like, squeeze through, uh, and this Manusco guy, you know, he sort of, you know, he's like, "What? What do you? What are you doing? Did you, you try to sit?" He yells at the at the at the at, starts yelling at the uh, African American man with the with the trumpet. Um, what what is going on here? Did you try to steal my wallet? Um, and he's like, "No, no, 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 sir. I, I, I have to play." That's, no, sir, no, sir. The music goes like, I'll have you arrested. We're all going to get you thrown, you know, I'll throw you out of here. Um, you know, you better get, you better find some fucking other way, boy. Guy mutters um, a unpleasant word under his breath. What happens as soon as he does this? Like, what, what, what's the response of people around? trumpet in his hand. He, oh, uh, I just, oh, well, oh, oh, well, okay. Uh, uh, I didn't mean nothing. Uh, I just need to get off the stage. Um, All right. Kai, and seeing like, all oh, this happen. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Seeing all yeah, this happen, I mean, I'm gonna... Can you hear me? Or... Yeah, I can hear you, man. Go ahead. Okay. Seeing all this happen, I'm gonna, like, walk up and, um... Go like, oh, uh, gentlemen, uh, this must be a uh, like a uh, a misunderstanding. There, uh, uh, I've personally seen this man play many a time, and I know that he's a stand-up character. And I'm like, is charm is that a thing? Is that what I would choose then? Or is there a better skill I could use to like try and like calm them both down and uh, Just talk to get the man of his back? Oh, I just so, so I'm gonna double check. Do you, do you you like going out to to these you know juke joints, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I so, right if you do, uh, as he talks, actually, you're you're right. telling the truth. You, you do know who this guy is. Um, you've heard him. At least you've heard him play for. His name is Leroy Turner. Mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, I don't reckon I want to say his name because I don't want that guy to know his name. Player. Mm. See, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Quite a, I said, uh, I'm, I'm just going to go 
like you see this this young man has quite a promising career and uh, it would be a shame to get ruined over something that, that you just misunderstood because you know the wallet was just on the floor and uh, well I don't know that woman but who says she can be trusted I want somebody under the bus there, huh? Nah, it's a game me and Elizabeth have from now on. I have a feeling at least it will be from now on. And Anthony will get his revenge. That's <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth kills you. <laughs> yeah. But uh, to be fair, if there is nothing missing from your wallet, I wouldn't look too much into it. Uh, she can be quite scary. I've seen her do things through her mouth that no woman should be able to do. And I'm gonna give a wink after it. He like he shakes his head at, at you. And he's like, just. Uh, uh, he's like, uh, he's like, look, I don't know who you are. Just, 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 just leave me the fuck alone. And, and get this. And he drops the N word. Just get the away from me. Get out of here. I'm gonna take uh, a Leroy away and uh, say, uh, "Now, son, I didn't know if you stole that wallet, but if you no, do, no. No. Okay. Uh, I would recommend you not do it again. You have a promising career. I've heard you play, and I like what I've heard so far. So oh, uh, oh. keep going." Oh, 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 no, no, sir. I wasn't involved in any of that. I, I swear. I, oh, thank you, sir. Th uh, thank you for letting me go. I, uh, I don't mean to cause no trouble. I, it's my fault. I, I'm a little lost. Or uh, my song's up next. But well, th thank you for your kind words. Uh, I hope I didn't cause no trouble for any of you fine people here. Um, um, uh, well, oh God, I'm gonna be late. Oh, uh, I really cause you. How old you want? I, I thank you. Um, and he sort of like you know nods his head and he's like, oh, thank you very much. I, I'm happy you like my music. Um, well, I hope you like my next song coming up here. It, it, it's my new one. <laughs> uh, it, it's called Dead Man Stomp. <laughs> oh, um, I, well, excuse, excuse me, uh, uh, and, and ma'am, uh, I had to get myself up on, on the stage here. <laughs> well, you, you're, you're most kind. You're most kind. Um, and he really sincerely looks like half scared, right? And he's still looking. You know, he looks at you, and he sort of turns around and looks at the guy. Uh, you clearly can tell he's nervous, uh, but he's still a little bit, still swaying a little bit. You can smell the alcohol on his breath. You know, it's like uh, probably been drinking some kind of moonshine, and he starts making it. You know, he, he sort of uh, you know, bows his head a little bit. He shakes his head a little, a lot, and then he makes his way through the crowd. Um, can anybody call? Cast me. So the people who have probably been to places like this before, which would be. Grafco, Elizabeth, or Nevada Jones. Can you all just uh, roll me some spot hiddens? Well, I am. I am. I'm not liking Call of Cthulhu so far. I don't think I've had one good roll. <laughs> I've only had failures today. I think. I think Boothby is away with the fairies. It's just him with the jazz and the alcohol. Well, um, okay. Well, Elizabeth, you uh, you do get to notice something. Uh, it's a bit, uh, it's slightly unusual, you know. And, and you notice as you know, both when you were getting close to him, and as he's walking away, uh, he just grabs a trumpet and puts it under his hand. That his trumpet has four valves instead of three. Right, most trumpets have like three, three right? Valves mm. when it's four. So wow, it's like a just notice it's interesting. Um, and so the uh, the you know you notice eventually that that this this tall black man or only known as Leroy Jenkins to to Nevada he kind of half stumbles up on the stage kind of a small wooden stage at the front uh, not too not too tall but um, and he sort of uh, you know gives a high five to some of the uh, some of the other band players that sort of start rolling down and they stop. I am the band leader there. It says, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is my honor tonight uh, to introduce uh, a, a, a real new swinger here. Uh, uh, and um, 
Uh, it's uh, this year is uh, you know uh, Leroy Leroy Jenkins, uh, and he is uh, he is gonna uh, cut a rug here uh, with some uh, some new some new music. Okay, you said Leroy, Leroy Jenkins. Jenkins. No, let's, uh, let's, oh, with oh, Leroy Turner. Right, sorry. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> oh, yeah, Leroy Turner. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, Leroy Turner. Yeah, I'm sorry, Leroy, Leroy Turner. Did you say it was Leroy Jenkins, Mike? Yeah. You never heard of Leroy yeah. Jenkins? No. Google uh, YouTube Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Maya. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did that. <laughs> Leroy Turner. <laughs> Takes a little bit out of the scene. Uh, but. Uh, you know, the guy comes up and he just starts, you know, blasting out a fantastic uh, trumpet solo. Uh, and then the band starts, you know, getting in and then the, the place starts real, you know, gets real cool and jiving. Uh, and... Uh, uh, and so they point. start playing. Okay. Right. When the band starts playing, I want to grab Elizabeth's hand and say, oh. Are you drunk enough yet? No, definitely not. And do not touch me, please. <laughs> I'm just gonna let your hand go. Or right, I'll be right back. Sure. I'm really pissed off at the uh, transmogrifier. It is. Been really shitty trying to transmogrify stuff from these two fucking games. It doesn't work really well. right back to it. Man, this guys give me a second and we'll get right back into stuff I'll go on top of my drink Oh, is everybody AFK? <clears throat> yeah, Kai, uh... What's up, man? Kai, Kai Mike, What's up, Lee? What's up, you old fucker? Same old. How have you been doing? Doing alright. 
How's this pandemic been uh, making you feel right now? Does really affect me, too. Hmm. That's fair. Are you gonna bu uh, buy Boulder Escape free? I, I want to, but I'm afraid when I buy the PS5 and it comes out on the PS5 that I'm gonna be buying it twice. Yeah. I've also heard that a lot of people are over there. Like, since it's in alpha right now, it might be better to hold off for a little bit on buying it. It does look really cool though, I like, like how you can build like your own like character and stuff and make it look like very nice. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure it, it's, it's fantastic. fantastic, it's, you yeah. know. It'd be cool to play with you and Charles together, oh fuck. Uh, well, the, 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 the thing about that versus actual Dungeons and Dragons is you're limited to what the programmers allow you to do. Yeah, that's true. You always have like a set amount of options. Yeah, yeah whereas uh, like, like in D and D, you have limits. Yeah, the yeah, other. Like, what, 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 what I be able to physically do the shit I did in your game in no, the video you're game? Definitely no, not me. But that's also because some DMs wouldn't have allowed you to do the things you did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, uh, uh, let's, let's say, when, when, when I, I kill Chief Gong, right? Yeah, that's that's immediately what I was thinking of when yeah. you said, would I be able to do it? And I was like, yeah. nope. I still don't know. What, what do you think, personally, Grimble's greatest, like, kill was? Was it, or was it, like, sending Krampus back into the... to the ethereal plane with yeah, the two think, bags of holding? I, I think, think it was saving the party. That, that one time. Was that was just meant to be a fun Christmas one shot, and then just nearly everybody fucking died. Yeah, it was, it was a, almost a, a TPK. I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't have died, but everybody else would have, you know? Yeah. You would have gotten away, but you'd be the only survivor. I'd probably have to run like a kind of thing where it was all a dream or something on Christmas, and it foreshadowed the horrible thing that could happen if you guys didn't prepare for next Christmas the year after. <laughs> Speaking of which, Christmas is coming up. Yeah. So you see, I said a tentative date for, for, is uh, no? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I, that, yeah. I, uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I play with my 2 e game. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. We'll have to see if we can maybe get, um, uh, get back together to finish it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. At, at, at least to level 20 would be cool, you know? Finish all yeah, those characters, you know? What are you? I think we're yeah. 11 or 12? Mm. 12 or 13, maybe? So no, we're, 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 we're like 14, I think. 14, I think. I think you guys leveled up, like, after... Actually, no, we're, 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 we're 13. We're 13. Because I'm 4 rogue and 9... 9 rogue, 4 wizard. I've just also found that Andy has his Reddit link to his uh, his account, and all he does is post things about that, or all he does is comment on Dash ones. What the fuck is that? That's it, dog. Oh. Are we talking about Andy? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, Andy, yeah. Short servant. He, uh, he's, he's still he's been playing in one of your games? No, 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 not on my game, no. Oh, but how come you follow his Reddit? No, 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 I was just, I just clicked on his name, because I was clicking on Dave's name, and I saw, well, Dave had, uh, mutual friends with me, and then I realized I still have Andy as a friend, okay. Discord. So he's, uh, so he's, he's, uh, <laughs> But I never pay attention to Andy's tweet, because all he does is simp for Trump. Oh, God, I just, no, no politics, no politics. <laughs> just, just leave it alone. Uh, yeah. You know what I think, no. Hmm? He, is he is a, a fucking, fucking baby, baby tool bag. Yeah. And, and he definitely is a baby tool bag. <laughs> fucking weirdo. Well, what was that disorder that you said he, he suffers from? That, that syndrome or? 
Oh, well, me or him? Him. I don't know. What, 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 hey, what, what, you, you described some, some sort of condition, condition where people who think, think they're better than things, things that they are. Oh, it's like a Dunning Kruger effect, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We all like it, it, it's not like a condition. It's just a you know people incompetent people never recognize how incompetent they are. Right? They're overconfident about their abilities or their knowledge or whatever. Uh, uh, just to curiosity, you're not recorded in SOTS, are we? Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 fuck them. <laughs> I realized that the other day when I was talking about like a friend and I was recording my Curse of Strahd sections, which I don't really put online. We just keep them for like fun to look at after later and like mm -hmm. clip stuff of me. And them doing stupid shit, but I realized I was just like bad mouthing the shit out of a person we had playing that game. And I just had to kick after two sessions because he was just driving me insane. I mean, we could we could always edit this out later. It's you know, the, the non game conversation. I, I, I'm, I'm not, not editing, editing shit. shit. Fuck Andy. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> you can suck a big bag of dicks. Are we fucking up, man? No, I'm not sure who we're who we're slagging off. Oh, oh slag it's just off. someone that we played with. Kind of fucking slangy guy. Slagging, <laughs> like you know, dissing. Yeah, no, I know, I know what you mean. But it okay. just sounds weird. I mean. It, it's weird and British, you know, what are you going to do? Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so give me a second. That's the one. I'm, yeah, I think I can, I can get this up in here. I just want to add another, a little more variety of music because I'm having a hard time. It's kind of very difficult to get stuff into the game. Anyway, so uh, what we're going to go is like this. Well, you guys are, uh, right, sitting here, and um, I believe that the, you know, that's kind of a bit of a commotion, and, and this man that you're, you know, with is clearly pretty rude, uh, even to you, but he's, you know, he's just angry and on edge. And so, uh, so I'm going to say that uh, I'd like everyone, while like, kind of when we're all sitting back down and the music's hopping, uh, you know, and this new tune is playing, uh, and, and a dance floor really starts, like, just breaking out again. Like, this is, like, and, you know, bam, this thing that, that, that Leroy Turner's playing, and it's got, it's got rhythm, it's, it's rocking and rolling. Um, I'm gonna say everyone can roll me a spot hit. Yes. Finally. Terrible. Yeah, okay. So this time, Elizabeth, maybe you've just been too busy with your sort of, you know, as you're kind of sitting yourself back down after your, uh, uh, Sm you know. Smoking my marijuana you know, cigarettes. Yep, yep. Just, you know, light one up with the smell, you know, you still God, definitely smell it. Uh, that weed. So, uh, you know, with, you know, with the, the motion, you know, you guys notice, uh, any of you who was successful in your spot hidden, uh, you sort of, you know, notice that. I say you know a lot. Um, you notice a man who comes down the stairs, right? Uh, uh, because now a time after has passed, you haven't seen really noticed many people walking down the stairs. And the way you guys are sitting, you can kind of see you know the entryway from where you were, and you see that the very tall, another very tall, tallish uh, African man, uh, African American man, is you know at the, kind of at the doorway. He's dressed very nice in a nice suit. Uh, you know he looks at the his uh, guy as he comes in uh, and gives him a nod. A very small, uh, you know, guy, like a Danny DeVito size short. Uh, he's wearing a snappy brown suit, a fedora kind of low over his head. From the shadows that you see, uh, from the lights, looks like he's got a pretty big nose. And he, you know, uh, the bar is along the back wall uh, from the entranceway. And he sort of comes across the bar. He seems to be moving past people, uh, and then uh, he starts you know, sort of walking along, uh, moving past some of the tables. Okay. Uh, uh, so, 
and you know there are some people who are you know kind of crowded and now you know got crowded enough that some, some people are coming in and out of the dance floor and there are definitely some people who are standing up along but you know kind of leaning against the wall maybe smoking and talking and you know near your table up against the wall right eventually looks like this guy's you know like you see you know he seems to be coming towards the front maybe he's trying to get a good view he's pretty short uh, and so uh, you see that uh, suddenly you know Leroy Turner bangs into another kind of you know you know up tempo you know really happen song uh, and you know everybody's clapping and, and, and hooting and, and uh, woof, uh, right and uh, the you know now that a bit of a drum you know the drummer starts like, tapping off the beat and uh, You know, there's a lot of movement going on with the dancing. And then, you know, right out of the corner of your eye, I would say that it's, you know, it's Boothby. You know, Boothby, you notice that uh, this, you know, this kind of guy that you noticed before who was kind of pushing up. You, you notice him again. He's gotten closer to the table, right? And it seems to have, like, you know, kind of squeezed, you know, around you, uh, um, around your table. And he's gotten in front of the table in a way. And he's standing close to this... Uh, uh, you know, along the wall, he squeezed past the table. He's kind of near the door, right? Now he's like, like at the, you know, in your table, almost like where the Leroy Turner was. Uh, and at that point, you see him, and I gotta say, only you notice because you you've got the best spot hidden. Uh, he reaches into his jacket, he pulls out a massive revolver, and before or any of you can do anything. He pulls the trigger and fucking uh, um, your ears all start to ring as a gunshot goes off. Uh, and you just see Manusco's head slam down on the table as all of you are showered with brain and bone. Can I try to tackle okay. this? Should yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm going to ask you guys uh, for a, a sanity check. Even I? I mean, um, my job is to see Is it your job to see people's heads blown off? Uh, so um, I'm going to roll... You, did we recover uh, any sanity? I, well, you did that already last time. Oh, did we? Uh, uh, so uh, just, roll a, just roll a sanity check because you, you guys have once again, you know... Uh, you've got brain and blood, or because he, he, he kind of like turned around. He was kind of almost, he wasn't paying attention. He turned like you know a, away from you, the, the the this guy, and turned towards the guy, you know, towards turned towards the uh, um, uh, this guy. Uh, and I don't know, the gunshot goes off, and he just blows brains and, and shit all over the table. And uh, all of my uh, all of my expertise in um, in uh, South and American and Mesoamerican warfare has apparently made me quite um, not very afraid of uh, things. Oh fuck! Let me to do that. Maybe I thought he was a giant spider. But I uh, passed the sanity check, so apparently my Mesoamerican. Uh, okay. So Boothby, you pat you failed twice. Okay, no, okay, all right. <laughs> So you you failed twice. No, okay. It's, uh, uh, oh no, that's Bruce. So Bruce, you're gonna fail, uh, and even even Miss Elizabeth, you can you can roll me one. I think, I think there's something, something with my background that I'm, I'm immune to seeing physical violence against people. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I know, I know that, but I mean, I don't know how this would I, I, that, would that play out against here. I want to take a look at, at what I mean, that says. I mean, we've had, we've had. Is it like, isn't well, it the when, thing is. Uh, your background. Ah, you don't have the info on your background. No, 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 no I didn't put it on there. Because for it, 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 some reason, the, the PDF doesn't, doesn't let, let me copy and paste the information on. No? Ah, God damn it. Uh, let me look at uh, the investigator's handbook. I hate to stop, but I, I have a feeling it's like, I, I, I can't remember if you're in, immune to just watching physical violence or like immune to like dead bodies or something like this. Uh, but I get it. Like, you know, you're a little bit tougher. Uh, than the rest, so to speak. And, well, at uh, least whoever... Or, go ahead. I, I, I thematically attribute that, that, that you know, know, when she got her pinkies taken and she saw her husband get, get, get killed, you know? 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so let's say, I mean, you, you've seen a lot of violence recently anyway. I mean, per perpetrated a lot of violence recently. So, uh, uh, let's say that you are uh, un uh, for the moment, especially considering everything you've seen in the last couple of uh, months, uh, unfazed by this one. Uh, anyone uh, who otherwise, uh, you know, uh, saw this happen is uh, I don't know, uh, is going to suffer. One D three sanity loss. So even me, if I, if I make it. Mm, uh, mm, Since it was an actually, it's success. In, in this case, it's an extreme success. I, I guess I'm going to say that you you can handle it. Everyone else gets a one point sanity loss. You guys have all seen a lot of violence anyway recently, uh, but having someone's head blown off right in front of you. Uh, Again, it's just one of those things that it's difficult for you to get used to. I, like, hey. immediately just want to, if I can, because my backstory is, like, I tend to jump in feet first before thinking, so I just immediately want to jump on this guy with the gun. We just shot this guy's brains up. Okay. Uh, as the guy, as this guy Manusko's body hits the table, you know... Because of the angle and the way he was shot, you guys look and you see the gun with his face. You see his sort of big nose, you know, pissed, ratty face underneath his fedora. And he just, uh, I mean, the place is crowded, but he starts sliding the revolver beneath his, his coat and tries to just walk away. All right. So uh, if you want to do this, uh, then we're going to take a look at this idea of the, you know, turn order if this is what you guys want to do. Oops. Uh, so I forget um, who has a dexterity higher than 90, 80, 70. Yes, I have 70. 75. Okay. Oh, yeah, Boothby, you're always really high. Okay, so Boothby, okay, uh, you. this happens very quickly. And you're in shock. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm gonna. I've got my um, glass of um, um, whiskey, and I just instinctively throw it at this guy, this guy's head. <laughs> but you I think I'll throw it down it and then throw it. it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. it's already empty. It's already <laughs> empty. But I, I, I know that I have a very terrible throw, but it's the only. It's kind of instinctive. Yeah. So here we go. Nope. Uh, the uh, the glass sails past the guy's head and hits um, a a uh, a dancer, a right? A yeah, a, a woman, um, and she you know she you know she screams in pain, uh, and her partner. You know, uh, you know you're medium sized African American. And he turns at you and says, hey, man, What are you doing? I point to the gunman. Uh, you know, the gunman's already moving through uh, the dance floor. He's moving fast. What are you guys going to do? It was him. He threw it. Hey, man, don't be right. bullshit me, man. That's not cool. Stop right. that man. Quick. Okay. Next. Okay. So then that's going to be. So that's your turn. And then suddenly, then it's going to be uh, Nevada. What are you going to do, Nevada? Uh, uh, I'm gonna jump on that guy and use my un, uh, unarmed skill. Is that like brawl or unarmed? Which brawl. one is it? To to like brawl to just knock him down to there or just jump on him. Okay, so the thing is that this place is really packed, uh, and he moved very quickly. Like he's moving, sort of moving through the dance floor, and so you need to get across the table and through the crowd, and so that means that you are going to be at disadvantage. Okay, so, so then you gotta roll mean? me the the bonus penalty. What does that mean? All right. oh, I have that, no idea. So you roll so that means that actually instead of a thirty two you rolled a sixty two. And so uh, you oh, fail. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so instead 
head. Uh, then I'm going to shout out, careful, gun, gun, he has a gun, as I probably uh, jump. Everybody's sort of yelling and screaming, and, and, you know, you can hear everybody having fun. Uh, uh, and it's, you know, maybe difficult for anybody, you know, no one's really paying attention to what you're saying. Uh, they're like, yeah, it's good, it's good, right? It's what some dude, like, yells at you. Uh, and so suddenly... I have to, I have to do this here real quick. Uh, where, where is this guy? Where is this guy? Yeah, okay, I see what it is. Yeah, okay. And so what's going to happen here is that I'm going to go and hello. Where's this stuff? Yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, you go at him and you kind of get caught up in a crowd and you try and lay a punch uh, and he, you know, try to grab him and he, like, you kind of, he just slips away from you, right? Uh, and partially it's because the, the, the couple who got hit in the head with the glass, they kind of are moving towards the table and say, so like, look, man, man, that's not cool. Uh, and they get in your way. All right, then next, who's who's got the next uh, highest turn order? 70, who's, who's below, who's next? Bruce Whitworth, all right, what are you going to do? Uh, Again, very crowded location. Quick. Uh, it's hard to face him outside. All right, so you start trying to push your way through the dance floor. People are, you know, they're moving around like, hey, man, watch what you're doing, bro. You're messing with my flow. Uh, and it's going to take you a while to kind of get through because, I mean, the place is hopping and the, the uh, you know, the trumpet player, uh, you know, uh, Leroy Turner is uh, playing some great music. Mm -hmm. All right, so then your job is going to try and push your way through and kind of chase this man. Okay, next up then. Elizabeth Cummings, what are you going to do? Elizabeth is going to puff her cigarette, stand up, and then use the side door, that little side door. Okay. All right. Uh, it takes you into a, a very narrow sort of little hallway, again, with a, you know one single lone, blinking, bare, old-school light bulb. Uh, and it seems to head towards the the front of uh, the the joint. Okay. All right. Yeah. You. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you start heading down that way, uh, and you're gonna walk. You know, you're gonna walk about you know 15, 20 feet, and you're probably gonna get to uh, maybe some uh, a couple of simple. Take a look, something here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, you pass like one, two, three doors. Uh, I don't know how far you're going to walk. Uh, I'm, I'm going to walk, walk to the, the end. end. Going, going as close okay. to the street as Yeah, all right, so you walk to the end. All right, yeah, so you, you put, pass like three doors. It's You know, the sound gets muffled back here, and you go to a T intersection, you see a... Uh, a door to your right uh, after a short hallway, and then it looks like there's a set of stairs that must lead to the stage. Again, a small stage. But you, you can hear the music being louder on your left hand side. Oh, okay. So to so, your right, it seems to be. You know, so it's, it's not, not going, going towards, towards the street, street. It's, it's going, going away from, from the street. street. Like, you, you said, said it was going you, towards the front of the building, building right? right? Well, I'll try. So. You guys, you're on, on the street side. You went down the stairs. It was like a safe, it was a straight it's kind of set of stairs that led you down. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, what I'm saying is that what you've done is you're moving towards uh, the the stage. Okay, right? So, going towards so, the back of the building. Yeah, you're going, yeah, you're going towards the back of the building, towards the back of this whole bar. So, the. the the only, the only way, way in, in this, this hallway is, is to, to the, the right, right towards, towards the stage? No, no, you get to a T-intersect. Oh, if, okay. if you go right, there's another doorway. If you go left, there's a stage. And slightly up, uh, any corner to you, uh, is a also another like small room. Like if there's a door there. So it's a T-intersection with a left. It seems like the hallway just ends at a door. Towards the right. Uh, you can definitely, that must go towards a small stage. 
and then uh, slightly adjacent to you is another small door. All right. Okay. I'm I'm gonna leave. All right. Okay. What are you gonna do? I, I, I like, like to go, go away from, from the stage. stage. I, I want to try, try to exit, exit the, the building. building. Okay, great. All right. Um, all right, so you can try, and if you check the first door very quickly, uh, you notice it looks like a very small sort of office or something. Uh, and then the door that's completely to your right it kind of creaks open, uh, and then you realize that this is some sort of uh, service entrance, and it leads to a alleyway. Okay. And that's, that's where we end. Like, that's where you're... Uh, that ends. All right, great. Back to uh, Nevada, Joe. No, sorry, Boothby. What are you gonna? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna. You... I'm gonna follow Elizabeth. I've seen her go through this door. Uh, so I'm gonna go through the door as well. But presumably, she's already gone around the corner. Has you have she? no idea. Uh, uh, it's uh, you know, you walked in, and the hallways maybe got uh, two or three. Uh, you know, bare bulb is not light lit very well. Uh, the blink, you know, one of them's the closest one is like blinking, tick, 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 like it's gonna you know, coming off. I mean, you may you probably see a shadow maybe a little bit at the very end. Uh, you maybe see the her dress, uh, the tail end of her dress as she turns towards the right. So I, I kind of wander up the corridor tentatively, um, trying to see where she went. All right, yeah, no problem. All right, um, and so uh, I'm going to say that uh, you you know you uh, by the second door you sort of smell uh, you smell something like that that you know and uh, uh, the and you're coming you're kind of coming out a um, a it looks like a waiter pops out of that door. Uh, almost bangs into you. It's like the hallway's quite narrow and you're fat and wide. Right? And he seems to be sort of have some kind of, you know, s uh, small tray full of hors d'oeuvres or, or something, like some kind of sandwiches or something. It's like, oh, oh, oh excuse me, sir, I I'm sorry. Um, uh, you lost? Uh, you, uh, the, 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 there's some bathrooms on the other side uh, uh, of the dance floors, uh, so you're not, you're not supposed to be here. Oh. Uh, uh, anything I can help you with, sir? That's okay. I'm just waiting for for, uh, for my friend. I'll, I'll take a couple of these, if you don't mind. Oh. Uh, I, uh, I grab a couple of hors d'oeuvres. And he sort of smiles at you. He's like, oh, uh, uh, that's, a, that, that, that's great, sir. Uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, well, um, <laughs> uh, well, really, sir, you, you really shouldn't be here. And uh, But, uh, uh, but of course, <laughs> oh, no trouble, no trouble. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you know, it's not a good place. You can't even hear the music. Uh, but I, I gotta serve these, so uh, you just be careful. Right? I won't um, keep you any longer. Just let me just let me take one more, and uh, you can be on your way. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <sighs> oh, man, and like, you, you hear him like as he walks away, he's, like whispers under his breath, "Crazy ass cracker." <laughs> and so okay. that's where your scene ends. Uh, Bruce Whitworth, you are trying to push towards the crowd. Uh, Nevada's first. I mean, oh, Nev yeah, ne yeah. Oh, Nevada. Uh, okay, Nevada, I'm, what are you doing? I'm going to push my way to the ground. Have I lost uh, sight of the guy yet? Uh, Has he Rome, like, moved out? Romeo spot hidden. Fuck. N yeah, totally. You have no idea where the fuck you went. Alright, in that case, uh, I'm just going to... Uh... I'm just gonna follow Boothbury. Furry. Uh, okay, so you turn around and you oh, yeah, head back towards that little narrow door. And, actually, uh, wait, is that is that the only exit they're walking towards, or is there another exit? You don't know. You'd have to go looking. It's hard to see. You're, right. There's too many people around you. You're, you're looking oh, yeah. around very quickly. You look for the guy. You don't know what happened. You know, as you're looking around, you notice Boothby's, you know, expansive frame pushing himself through the narrow door. Um, and then as you move towards it, you see, you know, a, 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 a waiter come out with a small tray. Uh, looks like it's some kind of simple, some kind of simple food on it. He's shaking his head. He's going to the bar. And he's suddenly having an argument as you're walking back towards the table. All right. And uh, eventually okay, you're go wait, back. No, no, no. In that case, I want to, uh, actually, I don't want to follow them. I want to look for a different exit to see if that's been opened. 
course. Well, you can start, then you can start uh, looking around the room, right? And eventually, that's what you're, you're going to have to try and get past all the dancers and the tables yeah. and figure out what's going on. All right, then that next comes in Bruce Whitworth. What are you going to do? Uh, I still following him. Did he, he went to China already? Um, yeah, so what happens is, mm. uh, you know, you're, you're trying to keep up on him. Um, Romeo spot hit him. All right, yeah. yes. You see him, he kind of moved through the tape. You know, he was moving and stopping and uh, in terms of looking or looking around this guy uh, over his shoulder, trying to see if, if, you were being fo if he was being followed. And he notices you and he sort of starts running and he runs towards the door uh, that leads uh, or the doorway that leads up the stairs. I follow him. All right, again, you have to push through. You're bigger. Uh, then, you know, he seems to be small enough to be able to sort of squeeze by people. Uh, so you are having the issue of trying to push past everyone uh, and, you know, get... My size is 50. I don't know if that makes me bigger than him. Oh, okay. I always thought you were bigger than that. Oh, so... I'm quite meek, to be honest. Oh, no wonder they make fun of you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Not the skinny rich kid trying to play the tech, trying to play big city cop. Oh, oh my God, God the abuse. <laughs> uh, so, he, yeah, so, all right. So what we're going to do is you're going to have to try and uh, you try and run for him or try and push your way through. And, you know, you kind of get to the stairs as he's just about running up. Right. He's, he's already halfway up the stairs and he looks down. And, uh, you know, he, and, uh, that's like that's where like that scene ends, right? That's where you're at. Okay. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth, what are you doing? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try, try to um, make, make it to, to the front, front of the establishment. Sure. All right. Uh, so, so front is gonna be about towards the right. Yeah. I mean, you just you know you came out and you're gonna walk all the way back towards. Um, and by the way, you're gonna have to go up some stairs uh, because obviously this is in the basement, uh, and so you know there's like a like a like a set of stairs you know that that, that leads up mm -hmm. um, down here. It's dirty, there's some garbage, you know. It's like oh god, you know, it's definitely a service entrance. Um, there's probably like a a garbage bag stacked out here that has to be taken care of. And, you know, dirty water that's pooling. It splashes a little bit under nice shoes, and you start getting yourself up these concrete steps. Uh, to get you to the top, uh, to get yourself street level, or at least alley level, I should say, right? Because it's just a little bit below, right, the level of the alley, and it smells back here. Uh, and eventually, you get yourself up the stairs, uh, and you see the bright lights, you know, the brighter lights at the end of the alley towards the front of the building. Okay. Oh. Start making your way over there. Yeah, I, I try to make my way to the front of the street and um, tell the bodyguard that someone's been shot in the club, that they need to lock the club down. Okay, so you know, you kind of push your way along the line and you go up to uh, the bodyguard who's uh, sort of up, you know, up front. Um, or as you're moving towards it, as you're moving uh, there, you are going to uh, see the man kind of run out the door, right, as, as you're heading towards that area. Oh, okay, so, so I'm going to yell, uh, stop that man, man. he's got, got a gun. gun. Try, Try to get everybody's attention, attention into, like, a panic. Yeah, and so, well, well yeah, that happens. Everybody's, like, you know, the, the street's very busy. There's cars, you know, all around. Uh, and you hear, like, people, will, you know, they're like, what? What's the matter? She's like, who's got a gun? Who's got a gun? Oh my God, there's somebody with a gun. And, and yeah, people start getting in a panic. Like, who, who, who is it? Who is it? Where is he? Well, it's, they start pointing at random places. Well, the street's really busy, right? So a lot of people moving back and forth. Uh, and so there's a general amount of confusion that happens as you're trying to move your way through the crowd now. And go, that man's got a gun. That man's got a gun. Uh, and, whoa. Uh, and then you see the guard looking around. Who, who's got a gun? Where's the gun? That little show, man, man, that looks, looks like Danny DeVito. DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> and you yell that out, and as you're yelling that out, uh, a 
a gray Packard screeches to a stop in front of the establishment. What is a gray Packard? Next up, Bruce Boothby Graffle. What are you going to do? I keep wandering along the to the end of the corridor where I saw the shadow of Elizabeth dress eating my hors d'oeuvres uh, and then <laughs> okay you, you, you notice a door um, a swinging a metal door slowly swinging shut uh, on rusty hinges uh, okay so I I you're right push open the door okay uh, you sp splash some disgusting fouls Gutter okay, water nice, good. Uh, and see it upstairs. But I, I check before I let the door close. I check that it can be opened from the outside. Can it? Um. Well, it's got a it's uh it's got a handle and a lock, so you don't know. Ah. Uh, but if I let it go, it might lock itself. Possibly. Uh, is there anything on the ground I can prop it open with? Bag of garbage. Okay, so I, I reached for the bag of garbage and kind of wedge it into the door so that it stays open. As you grab it, a uh, uh, very large rat great. Um, runs uh, across your feet. At least it's not a spider. And chat, you know, chatters at you. Right? Um, you, so it startles you uh, momentarily. And you let go of the door starts closing you you grab it just in time and you squeeze the, the disgusting sort of you know um, you know brown, it's like a it's like brown paper bag full of garbage right it's not these aren't plastic bags yet you know what it meant uh, so it's kind of trash that's there uh, so yeah uh, you know it spills all over right because kind of flustered from the rat and, and the can clanks into the hallway makes some noise And uh, you start, I guess, you're going to go up the stairs? Uh, yes, yeah. So once the door's secure, uh, I'm fairly confident it's not going to close, then then I, I go up the stairs. All right, yeah. Are you going to just walk or are you going to run or what are you going to do? No, I'm quite casual about okay. it. I'm not in a rush. Well, uh, no big deal. Just a little saunter up the stairs. And then it's going to be Nevada Jones. What are you going to do? Uh, have I found a, um, a, a, another exit? Uh, you mean b besides the one that, uh... Blueberry and Elizabeth went through, yeah. And you walk past the very simple part back. Uh, it's got Is it me or Kai? Like it's Kai. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, now we can. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, hey, I, I don't know what to do here. I mean, uh, it's uh, let me change the server. Maybe I'll try East Coast. East Coast. See if that works. I can hear you now, Kyle. The real question is, can you hear us? How about now? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can. Okay, I changed the server. Oh, East no, Coast. Never mind. That's better. Nope, add again. Motherfucker, bro. Okay, anyway, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the only other entrance you can see is the one that leads out, as far as you can tell. Okay. Um, uh, right, oh, no. Uh, there is. Yeah, I, so. No, I should say that. No. no. Um, you're going to get to two doors against the other wall. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, when you open one, uh, you're going to startle a, a woman on a toilet. All right, in that case, I'm not going to open the other because I'm just going to assume that's the men's toilet. Uh, and I'm going to close the door behind me. Uh, what are you doing, fool? Uh, my apologies, miss. I did not know this was a toilet. Maybe they should mark it as such. Open the damn door! Open the damn door! God sakes! Uh, I'm going to close the door behind me real quick and then just move away to the exit. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, and so then we're going to get over to Booth, uh, Boothby. Bruce. Bruce. Uh, not Boothby, sorry. Yeah, Whitworth, Whitworth, you run up the stairs, right? 
Uh, as you get to the stairs, uh, you hear um, people screaming, the man's got a gun! Someone with a gun! Um, and in and, and that case, you know, you, you come out uh, and, and a lot of confusion. And, you know, just come out just as you hear people yelling, a man's got a gun, a man's got a gun. And so the, the, the sort of the doorman, he turns to you and he's like, is it this guy? Is it this guy? He grabs you by the shoulder. Uh, hold, hold, hold on. I do have a gun, but I'm not the guy you're looking for. No, no, no that's not, that's, no, not you, Nevada. That's Whitworth. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you I were wasting that. your time scaring, you know, frightening a woman who was taking a, you know, a pee in the bathroom, <laughs> for God's sakes. Hey, that's God just God just away, okay? Herbert. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Whitworth, go ahead, it's quick. What are you going to do? Okay, is this menacing? Okay. Yeah, uh, man, grab you. It's not me, it's a gun and fall away. He's like, who the heck is that? And everybody starts pushing and screaming. He's like, maybe it's him! And he's like, he starts like, like he holds you, like, whoa, whoa. And he starts patting you down. Man, you got a gun, man. You got a gun. This ain't. This is not cool. It's not acceptable. I don't have a gun. Look, that's a guy that has a gun. And it points uh, in the direction of the guy's running. And as you do that, is when the gray packard uh, screeches to a halt in front. But uh, what's a gray packard? It's a car. It's just an old school type of nineteen twenties car. A uh, packard. Uh, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so this nineteen twenty two. It's a you know a gray a, you know dark gray colored Packard uh, or you know screeches to a stop right in front of everybody uh, and uh, the door opens. Uh, now Bruce, give me a uh, a spot a hidden check. Excellent. You see the door open um, uh, and. Uh, it is an empty seat. The back in the it's a back door, and you see the silhouette of a Tommy gun in the hand of someone in the back seat. I, I try to make the bodyguard go down. Say no. All right. Uh, and so you yell. All right. So give me. You say everybody down. Gun. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Uh, at that point, uh, you hear the machine gun fire go off. And uh, you hear the, like, you know, the, this, like, uh, brick smashing. Boom! Okay, uh, then, then it is Elizabeth coming. Uh, Elizabeth, it's like you see the Packard roll up. Uh, you know, you see a commotion up front as you're sort of running and pushing through the crowd. Again, it's a crowded street, and uh, people are panicking and screaming. Uh, and I, I, you know, it kind of went up the line. Uh, the great Packard, you know, screeches to a halt. You see the man, right? You see the door open, and you see, uh, you know, the man uh, running towards it and going into the back. Uh, and then you hear gunfire. Jump behind the car. Uh, all right, uh, Bruce. Why you keep on rolling uh, spot and checks? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, well, that's that's you are absolutely correct. Uh, and as soon as the gunshot goes off, right? You, you everybody starts screaming. <laughs> uh, and. Um, you know, everybody starts hitting the ground and running away and pushing at you and, and stumbling over each other, and it's truly a mass panic. Uh, and so you stay down suddenly, and you, and you lay down as people kind of trample and fall all over you in a panic. All right. Uh, next up, Boothby Graffo. So do I? Do I hear the gunshots from? I'm going up the stairs. Yeah, you're. Yeah, the, you, uh, I hear the. Oh, that was a really good sandwich. I think that would be my next purchase. I but just a follow booth here. You hear gunfire on the street at the end of the at the end of the alley. So I ascend the stairs even slower towards the edge, 
until I get to the corner of the because um, the, the stairs are going up to the street, are they presumably? Yeah, they're going up into the alley. Yeah, they, are you saying yeah? They seem to be going up into the alley. They seem to be like a double set of stairs. They're landing, ah, okay. go up, and you get yourself into an alley. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not directly going necessarily straight into the street. Uh, but eventually, you get up the stairs. At the top of the stairs, right? Uh, you will. You're a, a, you know, panic in the street. People screaming and a and a screeching of car of you know car tires, honking, um, and uh, another. You know, no more gunfire quite just yet. And that's where you're gonna you know you're gonna get at. I mean, if you're walking slowly, then you know you're not really gonna get to see much of it. Besides, people running. You know, across past the end of the alleyway towards the front of the building where you were at. All right, next up, then it's going to be uh, Nevada Jones. So I think we're walking up the stairs or running, you know, running up the stairs. Possibly, you are partially up the stairs when you know you hear the gun. You hear the gun, the gunshots. Uh, someone with a Tommy gun has just let off. Uh, you know, a couple rounds. Uh, um, I, um, I'm going to pull out my gun. Okay. I have a uh, .38 handgun. Okay. Which is loaded. I think. Okay. Is it loaded? Um, maybe. Sure, it's loaded. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, I have, a, yeah I have ammo. I have ammo. That's fine. Um, All right. And what are you going to do? And I'm going to look look for the source of the Tommy gun. See See how it looks like. Well, I mean, it's up front. So you're getting up to the stairs, a whole bunch of panic. Uh, the gunshots have gone off. You eventually get to the street. Everyone's down on the ground. And as soon as you come out with the gun in your hand, someone screams, <laughs> Gun! <laughs> at, at, at which point, the you know two beefy African-American men um, you know, kind of half come from a crowd to war and try and tackle you. Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to try and I'm gonna try and dodge him. Okay, okay. <laughs> and so what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm gonna fail. Uh, That's what's gonna happen. I I can't say I really have uh, a specific thing here for him, but I'm gonna say that they're at uh, probably. There there is a there is a dodge kill guy. <laughs> There's a dodge combat. Oh no no no! I'm just gonna roll for these guys. I oh. have a a a. Uh, a sheet for them. Oh, okay. Yep. So uh, what happens is that the you know you were able to dodge the first man, um, but the second man, who seems to be a little bit smaller but faster, uh, gets you by the legs. Hey, I'm and chasing the guy with the gun here. What are you doing, you idiot? He's and uh, he's uh, gonna try and essentially stop you from you know he's gonna try and take you down. What he's going to try and do, right? And his successful uh, brawl move is what, it's what he does. And so he's going to do a fighting maneuver. And he's going to try and knock you down. Again, he just doesn't know what's happening. He's just scared. And so. Yeah, okay. And so you just get uh, knocked out. Down to the floor. Okay. Um. Actually, no. He he disarms you. Knocks a gun out of your hand. Fuck. Yeah. And I'm it falls. Not. I mean, it falls on the floor. Uh. And, and he starts sort of like you know getting ready to sort of you know he's grabbed your arm essentially and 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 forced you know uh, the gun out of your hand it drops to the floor and he's trying to push you up against against the wall of the building. So that's what happens there, uh, and then it's going to be Bruce Whitworth. Okay, uh, how is everything around me? Is that uh, did the guy that I pulled down he went down? Was he shot? Was I shot? Uh, no, no, you didn't. You didn't get shot at all. You you basically heard the clinking of glass, like glass breaking. Uh, you you saw that the that the the Tommy gun like came over the roof of the car mm -hmm. and sort of just you know started shooting randomly. Oh, uh, and there's you know the, there's brick dust on you that probably from the brick from the building that fell on you from where mm -hmm. the bullets were. But you're safe. You haven't been hit. Okay, and then uh, but the car starts to beat off. 
What? what, what, what how was the, the man that was with me? The, the oh, he's safe. He hasn't been hit. He's, okay, uh, okay. Come on, let's go. Do you have a chance to get the guy? And, as a matter, as a matter uh, of fact, that, that man um, just acted uh, trying to tackle what you realize is Nevada Jones. <laughs> okay. Uh, help me out, sorry, help me out here. Come on. I'll yeah. tell him uh, I'm not the guy with the gun. I'm going to help Nevada. I gotta, come on, let's help. They're going to tap the shoulder of the bodyguard and, and run over the guy that's over Nevada. And, and the guy over Nevada is like, man, what are you, man? Look, look, yeah, we can't have no shootings here, man. That's, this is this is no good. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. What's going on? I'm not sure. The dead man is a shooter. Come on. Like, what, what, what do you mean? What's going on? What's going on? I can't explain everything. I don't understand. And I try to still go in after Nevada. Then if the guy comes to uh, pull me to over him. Okay, roll me a persuade check. Right, okay. You're trying to convince this guy, like, to stop what he's doing and, and follow you. Okay, what's persuasion? Persuasion? I can I fail. They're not believing me. Yeah, and he's like, I, I don't know what's going on here. Are you with them? Look, man, we don't want no trouble here. Uh, um... Oh, no, he's kind of, he's, he's holding you, he's like, he kind of, like, pushes off you, and he's nervous. Right, as you know, he's not like beating you up or anything, uh -huh. but he, he, you know, he's uh, the other, the bigger guy grabs the gun off the floor, and he's like, "Well, are you with him? What's going on here? This ain't good for business. This isn't good for business." Okay, so that's happening. You guys are having that conversation, uh -huh. and, and then Elizabeth, you're on the floor. People are falling all around you. Uh, you know, they kind of maybe, maybe somebody tripped over you, but you're okay. And the, gun, the car, you hear the car, you can see it screeching off down the street. It actually right. bangs into a taxi cab, uh, you know, from, you know, sort of side swipes a taxi cab and keeps on going. Or will keep on going. The, so, so the, the, is, is the taxi, taxi cab active? active? Yeah, it was like the taxi cab was kind of going on the other direction. And, you know, the, yeah, the taxi cab kind of like stops, gets banged. Um, you know, uh, you know, at the car, uh, the gray Packard tries to make its way through traffic. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna hop, hop in, in a taxi. taxi. Okay. I'm gonna tell them to follow that car. And, uh, <laughs> I flash a 20 dollar bill with his face. He's like, oh, um, uh, oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, and he grabs it and he like he starts to get himself in a reverse. Yeah, and 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 you know you know turns the car around, and uh, you know so you know, cars are stopped now. Their horns are honking. He like he's trying to get his way through and get on the other side. Uh, you know, one or two cars can probably get past on that side before he can get it. He drives his way through and he hits the gas and he starts following. All right. Um, so uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, uh, and so, right, he's about two or three cars behind, uh, you know, in hot pursuit of that gray Packard. You know, it took your time to get up and uh, put him over I there. Tell, I, tell the, 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 I tell him to stay back, back but, but keep him in visual sight. You know, don't, don't, don't oh, aggressively, aggressively we're, we're not, not trying, trying to chase them, them and let them know that we're chasing them. You know? Okay. Okay. Let's, let's give a percent to see if anybody noticed. Oof. Uh, oof, uh, um, I rolled a one. So um, I can never do that. <laughs> uh, so they, he didn't do a good job. He told them too late. They noticed, and uh, suddenly, uh, you know, Elizabeth, you kind of see, uh, you know, two cars ahead. Um, you know, the the cars. The two cars ahead sort of swirl momentarily to the left, uh -huh. um, and then you see that the car that you're chasing, the Great Packard, uh, there's a a man with a Tommy gun hanging out the back window, pointing at you, and then suddenly he starts shooting. I, I jumped on the floor of the car. Yeah, you kind of ducked out of. Right, the you know the gunfire straight. Uh, the hood of this taxi cab 
see you hear the glass tinkle above you as the glass shatters. And you hear the taxi cab driver fucking screaming. <laughs> and he sort of semi loses control of the car. Let's see momentarily. I, I, I should put it not to GM, I'm sorry. Uh, but I did honestly roll a one. No, on we, see it. we see it, yeah. You see it? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I'm not. Oh, that I, I fucked it up, okay. So with a 23, um, so now I actually have it to GM instead. Sorry, I, I, it was correct the first time. Uh, he's able to control the car. Uh, it comes to a screeching halt. Uh, just have it, you know, uh, and, and stops. He's like, oh, oh, man, you can have your $20 back. Uh, you have your $20 back. I don't want anything to do with that. All right. Can I hop out? It's maybe you love to see if this is another taxi cab I can nail. You could try. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, fuck. No, man, I'm sorry. Do I see what you're um, Everybody's honking horn. Um, they would have turned, because where you guys are, uh, I believe, like I said, is that you guys are on, what, 135? And... 135th and 5th Avenue? Uh pretty much in that corner, and so they probably drive down 135th Street. Okay. Uh, you probably follow them for, like, a block, um, you know, in, in terms of, you know, the time and you and the traffic and them trying to weave through other cars, hitting, hitting the gas, and you jumping in real quick in a taxi cab, so maybe a block or two uh, down 135th Street before you lost them. And, like, a crowd's trying to gather, and, and people are honking horns, and the, Taxi driver's like, fuck, fuck, I gotta get out of here. I give him the $8 that I jacked from What's-His-Face, anyway. Okay. He's like, yeah, oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, that, that's, all right, thank you. I don't want nothing to do with this. I don't know who you are. I never saw you. You never saw me. We're good, okay? We're good. We're, yeah. we're all good. And he, he, he just drives off. All right, yeah, you can start walk, walking back. If you want, you can, right? you can use your knowledge to try to uh, lodge, make it some logic to where they're going. It's a big city? It's New York that. knowledge. Yes, the place where all mobsters go to, where, where, where all criminals go here. <laughs> Of Not course they're going to go here. <laughs> um, so, go ahead. I, I, I have a general idea where they went, but other than that, they could have went anywhere after my visual sight. You know. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they can make a couple of turns. They could have circle and, and then come right back next to the park, next to the club, and that's it. Yeah, and they could come back and shoot everyone for all you know. <laughs> exactly. I mean, these are big. These are big streets. These are big long blocks. Uh, and so yeah, so that that. And so I'm gonna go back to. Um, I'm, oh, should I say? Did, yeah, do we're I, right back to, to Boothby. Do, did I get to the end of the alley in time to see Elizabeth yes. get into the cab? Yes, you did. You did. So I. Mm -hmm. I flag down the cab behind and say, follow that cab. So, th so that when she gets out of the cab, I ask the cab driver to say, pull over and pick up Elizabeth. Oh, shit. Um, you see, she already rolled her luck. There wasn't any taxi cabs to the buy. So, yeah, okay. So that's because so that, 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 at that moment, yeah, so at the moment Elizabeth looks around and she can't find it, she starts walking back, right? She walks off the street. So then, and, you know, you, it's going to be difficult because you show up, you, the time you show up, there's a lot of traffic, right? So a, a, a little bit of time passes because this whole, as soon as the gun, you know, you heard the gunfire up ahead of you and you saw the, the muzzle flash, right? As cars screeched to a halt, 
right? Uh, and eventually you kind of drive up and, and you get to Elizabeth. But it's a little bit of time has passed uh, since that great Packard roll off, you know, rolled off. Uh, you so could try and drive down 135th Street and, and you and you come up and you see Elizabeth and you yell at her from a taxi cab. Elizabeth, come on! Exactly. That's just what I said. Elizabeth, come in here. Okay, Mr. Movie. Did you see where they went? I have a general idea where they went. T tell the driver. I was. Uh, sorry, he does not sorry. see me like on the floor. Sorry. Press with a guy. I'm. <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah. driver. I didn't get your name. James. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, James. And and don't spur the horses. He's an, he's an older African American man, and, and, and he's saying he said, his name is. Uh, do, do you mind if I call you James? Oh, uh, you can call me whatever you want, sir. Uh. Oh, uh, there's a lot of traffic to try and get to. Where, where do you want me to go? D -d down the street? Anywhere in particular? It was 135th Street. Yeah, oh, what she well, said. Well, we are on 135th Street, ma'am. Just keep going there. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, no, no, no problem. Hopefully I can get past this uh, other traffic here. Oh, got the light. He's not, he's not a very fast driver. Um, but, you know, he starts, you know, trying to drive down 135th Street. Can I make, like, uh, a spot hidden check? check absolutely. Also? You can make a spot hidden check. That's All right. Uh, that, you know, they're like maybe two, three, maybe two blocks ahead of you. You know, but I mean, with a bunch of cars in between. Mm -hmm. It's a high traffic area here. Just, Just keep, keep going, going straight, straight, sir. Okay. All right, so you guys are going to drive off. All right, uh, Nevada Jones. Yes, uh, me, am I still pressed for this guy on my back? Roll me a persuasion check if you want to try and explain that you're in no danger and that you're actually after the guy who was, you know. Yeah. Or whatever it is you want to do. You're going to have to roll a persuade check to convince <laughs> this guy that you're not an immediate threat to the customers. Wasn't okay. that me? No, oh, Nevada's also there. You both can make persuasion checks. It's true. Yeah, you know, yeah, Nevada's true. being held. Yeah, yeah. I'm the one being held. Yeah, he's still yeah, on my back. Yeah. Ah, I thought he wasn't fighting the guy with the gun. Sorry. You're, 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 you're a police officer, officer, too. You, you could, could just, just literally, literally flash, flash your badge, your badge and, and defuse the situation. Of course. But. <laughs> and then I'll say traffic. 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 Uh, at this time, you could probably also walk up to a person driving and just take their vehicle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Commandeer the vehicle. I'm police! I need your car! Yeah, I'm not doing that right now. Okay. Well, ne Nevada Jones, go ahead. Romeo Persuade. Oh, you I have suck. Already done that. I have already You're done. terrible. Yeah, and so he's like... He's like... Well, what's going on? And as as you as you as as that's happening, something comes up the stairs. Um, it, it looks like one of the you know one of the the waiters from downstairs. Oh, well, man, so somebody's been shot downstairs. Somebody's been shot. In the club. And then the the big guy looks at you know the guy who's holding you. He looks at you. Uh, it, it, it wasn't me. With a hard stare. And, I go, <laughs> and he looks at you. And he looks at the gun that his his that his boy has. Uh, and then he's gonna try and punch you in the face. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's gonna happen. Okay, uh, so, right. Roll D100. Alright, Rope, I mean, you can do a brawl or a uh, dodge. What do you want to do? I will, I, will, I will brawl this fucker down. I'm gonna beat his ass. Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay. So re remember, there's a couple of things you can do. You can knock an opponent to the floor. Um, you can try and seize and hold them, or you can disarm an opponent, or you can just punch them. I'm gonna suck this fucker straight in the face. Okay. Uh, then you're gonna have to roll your, your damage. 
and I think on your character sheet, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up the character sheet really quick. And one of the things that you should have it's is unknown damage. It says one d three plus d six. Oh yeah. Oh, you're pretty fucking tough, man. Where am I? Fucking bastard. Yeah, you're in verbose. Yeah, that's okay. Take it off of edit mode. You shouldn't be in edit mode. All right. Yeah, then um, I'm surprised that you, your damage didn't roll. Yeah, I rolled it from the skills, that's why. No, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah bro. You right. do roll six. unarmed like that. Yeah. See how I just rolled unarmed? Yeah, yeah, I rolled it already. Yeah? I, it's not a failure, but damn, bro. You hit this guy for nine points of damage? Shit. I rolled it for you. I don't care. Yeah, you fucking... No. You knocked this guy out. I'm just going to say you knocked him. Yeah, then I, I'm going to say, look, I didn't want to beat him up, but it left me no choice, you know. If they want yeah. to catch his hands, they can catch him. And then I'm gonna pick up my gun. You know, and, you can't uh, pick up the gun. It's an, it's, an, it's another guy. No, no. Uh, oh, the other action? bigger, the other bigger man has it in his hands. Uh, this is like a couple of seconds. You push it and shove it, and you punch this guy, right? Mm, uh, and so okay. then the bigger guy is gonna come at you also, right? In the middle of this brawl, he's gonna try and knock you down. Um, he's unsuccessful. Right? Uh, you can roll. You can dodge or brawl him. So use use combat. Use use the part of your of your character sheet that has combat, and then you can roll your brawl. Yeah, I'm gonna like hold up my hands and uh, um, be like, all right, all right, cal calm down, calm down. There is no need to get angry now. Okay, all right, the guys, cold clock, cold cold cock on the floor. All right, next up, it's gonna be. Bruce Whitworth, uh, you just suddenly see Nevada Jones just punch uh, in one of these, you know, you know bouncers uh, in the face, and a guy just falls right straight down onto the concrete of the sidewalk. What are you gonna do? Did we heard about the gun uh, downstairs? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard it immediately. You heard the man okay. saying, you know, somebody's been shot, and okay, you saw it all. The... It's like all oh, kind of happening simultaneously. Uh, yeah. I turned to the bodyguard. See, it's not me with the gun. If you run, we can catch him. Let's go together. You can arrest me later, interrogate. I don't mind. Let's go. Look, man, I can run nobody with a machine gun. So let me run. Well, well, fine. You can go. He's like, well, you can do whatever you want. I ain't running around nobody with a machine gun. Oh. And just, Thank get, you. just get out of here. And is this your stupid friend? Oh, you. Never met him. Do you all know each other? Just get the fuck out of here, man. You're causing trouble. Cops are gonna come. I don't have a problem. The goddamn hell. I run and I go see what's happening downstairs. Okay, oh, that's where you're gonna go. All right. Oh, yeah, you fucking run downstairs. There's a, um, the music's still hopping. Um, it's almost like. Oh, no, wait, wait, really wait, wait. Wait. Are we talking. To you're talking the, the gun of the, 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 the car or the guy that I was falling before? What are you talking about? Uh, one day screaming. Oh, no, I, I don't, don't really understand. Yuri, okay, the whole situation. Yuri, look, the turn. No, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah? Yeah, I, I, I uh, But can I actually go after the guy that was falling before instead of going downstairs? Yuri, there, he's gone. Right, there's just a crowd of people, like kind of confused and screaming and pointing, I know. and just and, hear, and, what, and, and hear police sirens, oh, and you okay. see them down the street right at this moment. Okay, then things change. I'm getting out of there. I don't want police to see me. Okay. Do I roll a stealth or? Just you're not safe. gonna roll it stealth. You're in the middle of a brightly lit street in front of a club. No, I, I mean, I you, okay, stealth in the sense of what you're gonna do. You're gonna try and uh, move into the crowd. Is that what you're gonna do? I the mean, best that's way what you're gonna do. Yes, yeah. the best yeah. way that I can, I can, I can avoid the police. Well, I mean, you can you can start slipping into the crowd and get the hell out of there. Oh, I do that. That's what you do. I do that. I didn't do that one. And then, um, as right mm -hmm. and again, it sounds like there's traffic. I mean, you can, you can see the cop cars, 
you know, down the block. You can just hear the sirens. You can see the lights, but they're a little while away. Uh, and at that moment, while you're trying to slip away, uh, yes, you hear some, in Nevada Jones, you hear, you hear this, the man who just came up and said, we got somebody shot downstairs. Like he turns around and he, he screams. Oh, oh Lord, oh, oh no. Um, and he starts backing away from the door. Uh, and so, um, uh, and then, uh, you know, suddenly it's like, uh, you all, you know, you, you see, God damn it. Um, you know, there's, there's people pushing and screaming, uh, and they're like sort of pushing past the man. Uh, and he's like, he gets knocked over to the ground, right? Because it's kind of a, a, a charge uh, of, of people. Uh, and then they all sort of, uh, you know, a whole big crowd just fucking pushes out and knocks a man over. Um, okay. Uh, uh and, and, and you hear people screaming. It's like, oh, oh my God. What? That poor man, that poor man. Oh, oh, he's still walking. Oh, oh get out of here. The cops are coming. Um, and a guy's kind of falls down on the ground. He's being stomped on. Like, ah. Uh, you know, you hear maybe me. He's like this, his, 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 you know, maybe the crunch of bone. Right, uh, and then you end up sort of like slipping away. Okay, uh, Bruce. Oh no, Boothby was Bruce. It was Nevada. Oh, Elizabeth. Back to Elizabeth and Boothby. So, oh, Boothby and Elizabeth. Okay, so you guys are, are, are you see the car up ahead, like two blocks. You kind of see it weaving in and out of traffic. Uh, and this older black man who was driving a taxi cab. You know, he's trying to, you know, oh. Uh, uh, Okay, and, and you, you can just tell me when you want me to stop. Uh, where would you like to go? Uh, the Modern Club? Or oh, that, that, that's over down that way. We've got to get ourselves over to 137. So, would, would you, you just, just shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up and drive? And I throw the 20 out on the, the front seat. And I keep shocked. And it's, yes, 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 ma'am. I'm, I'm very sorry. Yes, yes, I will, I will just drive. You just tell me when to stop. Yes. And he just shuts up. All right, and you uh, you see the car uh, turn off. Um, one, I mean, I gotta look at the uh, the map over here. Uh, uh, and I, I'm gonna say that it you know it turns off uh, on one thirty. You know, it continues off one thirty fifth, and like you can see like two three blocks ahead uh, that. Uh, right place here yeah fifth from what you would have been commenting or everyone 35th I guess at that point in time uh, it looks like he's he's uh, turn off uh, you know three blocks down he, he turns off he must be turning on Park Avenue right no no he's making a, yeah, he's ma they're making a right off third Avenue so they're trying to go downtown okay so I, I tell uh, the cab driver to... Second Avenue, actually. It's got to be Second Avenue. I'm sorry. I tell, I tell yeah, but that's like... Driver to turn down Second Avenue. Yeah. I, and I should say, you really see them. I'm, I'm using... That's the wrong thing. Considering the size of... I'm forgetting the size of the blocks. Like, they're, they're halfway up to a third of the, of the, of the way up. You're, you're kind of up, up out of the car, right? You're looking over the other cars. You see them turning. Mm -hmm. when, they, when they make a turn on Second Avenue, obviously because you know the New York blocks are super long, so I should say you wouldn't be able to see them if they were three blocks away, being possible. So they're three quarters of the way up, okay, or at least a block away. Okay, yeah, uh, and so you guys, you know, are trying to, you know, they make a turn and they turn off to the right, and the guy, you know, keeps on driving. And eventually, up oh, gets gets to a red light. He stops. The red light. The the, the guy does. Yep. 
the taxi I, I, driver. I, I throw another ten on the the seat. Say, you you you're breaking laws, man. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's like you see him. He's starting to sweat a little bit. He's like, oh, yeah, 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 yes, man. You, you, I'm gonna make the turn here. Oh, I'm sorry for talking. Yeah, and he and he turns. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Boothby and Elizabeth, make me another. Another spot hidden check. All right, Elizabeth, you, you see you, you see him up front. You see the car. Uh, Boothby, you have no idea. Okay, no problem. All right, uh, and so I'm going to go back to Nevada to uh, Nevada Jones. All right, so that guy still has my gun, I assume. Yeah, uh, and then a huge crowd starts crawling up, uh, and people are sort of screaming, and he's like, "Oh, thank you, that poor man! Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Somebody has to call an ambulance! <laughs> oh my lord, that poor man! I can't believe he's up! Oh, oh, we gotta get out of here! Oh, the police!" Uh, and they start running away, uh, and they're like pushing up, you know, and they push and pass, and a big crowd comes in. I'm gonna run, and then, yeah, I'm gonna run at the guy that's holding my hand, guy, and that's holding my gun. I'm gonna like kind of like, um, basically like, just like hope that I can just grab it as I'm running past him, like to just shock him or something. That he's probably yeah. shocked by the fact that I've just sucker punched this guy in the face and he's knocked out. Oh, and, and if there's people wanna... pushing past, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I wild. just want to like, I just want to rip it out of his hand and just run. Which way are you gonna run? Um, into the crowd of people, I guess. Okay, like against them, down back downstairs or away. Where, where is the where is the guy standing? That's like, is he standing in the doorway or? No, no, no. The the the, the there's a mass of people running out of the doorway. Now. Yeah, right? it's it, like everyone who was there is like to run out. Mm -hmm. And where's the bouncer that's holding my gun? Uh, he's off to the right-hand side of the door, right? He was close to what you guys were fighting. All right, so I wanna, I wanna run to him first and get my gun. Try and just tear it from his hand, or just say like, "Listen, nobody needs to get hurt tonight. I came to help you guys, but you took me for the wrong guy. Just give me my gun." He just looks at you and he's looking around at all this and he's like, yeah, yeah, take it. He's, I got nothing to do with you. You just take all right. it. Alright, and then I'm going to run in the direction I saw Bruce run off to. Okay. Um, excellent. Alright, you start You start running. Uh, and then, gosh, uh, Bruce, you you what? You didn't see, but Bruce disappeared. He disappeared into the crowd. You have no idea. All right, then I'm also going to disappear into the crowd and just hope I I find him. Okay. Um. And so you start moving into the crowd. Uh. And at that point, uh, I'm going to say that you hear a woman scream. Uh. In absolute, like out of control. <gasps> uh. Where is she? Where's the sound coming from? Behind you, back, back, back from the, you know, uh, from the club. Mm hmm. Sorry, one more time. Back from the club. Back in the club. Uh, you hear uh, behind you where you're coming from or where you're running from, right? And then like, oh, oh, you hear a bunch of weird fucking screaming. Oh my god! Somebody call an ambulance. Uh. Okay. I am gonna keep running. Okay. No problem. Uh, and then, wheel, 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 wheel. Um, and then uh, you're uh, you kind of uh, you know you can see here the police squad car, uh, you know, sort of like with sirens on 
high as people are pushing and screaming. You hear all about you. Oh my God! Oh look at that! Oh my God! What? That crazy! That crazy white boy in the middle of the street. He gonna get hit? Uh, and then you hear uh, the uh, vehicle or some kind of car. You know the the wheels, the tires skidding uh, against the road, and uh, you hear a car crash behind you. All right. Is there like an alleyway across from the street I'm running on? Of course there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna dash into the alley and just make it the fuck out of. Okay. Or at least try yeah. to. That's what happens. Yeah. Okay. You can. Yeah. I mean, you can dash. You just hear a bunch of you know panic screaming and and horns honking and. Uh, Do you, you know uh, the, the... roll anything? No, no, you get away. It's, it's fine. Okay. Uh, and yeah, you guys, you just disappear into the alleyway, into the night, right? Uh, you know, other people around you, you, you run down this dirty alleyway. Uh, you eventually, there's probably going to be some kind of, you know, maybe a short fence or something you need to climb. Yeah, if you do so, you can probably get yourself to, you know, 134th Street or 135th Street, whatever direction it is that you decide to run. Yeah? Yep. And so you get away. You're gone. Uh, Bruce, uh, you go. You get away. Um, and then, uh, you know, I'm going to say uh, that uh, uh, Elizabeth... Um, and and Boothby, your car starts getting, you know, uh, getting a little bit closer. The taxi cab uh, starts getting a little bit closer. Uh, and you see that the gray Packard has stopped on the side of the street. Uh, with its uh, blinker on, about half a block, half, half a block up. I tell the cab driver to pull over. Okay. Just wait. See what that, that car does. If it stays or if it goes. Okay. Can I see if what the occupants are doing? Did anybody get out of the car? Nobody's gotten out of the car. Yeah, it, it's just, uh, it's just sort of there, and then he's really good. But then uh, I have to look this up real quick. After like thirty, after like about a minute, car just sort of like waits, and then you see, you know, your 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 way and nothing's happening, the blinker's on, and then the car suddenly accelerates, it uh, turns into the other direction along the street, mm -hmm. and starts rocketing uh, uh, in your direction. Okay, so uh, can, can we, we try, try to duck down, down and hide? Yeah, yeah you can. Uh, does that, right, as you kind of guys duck down and, and, and hide, uh, you uh, suddenly hear the uh, you know the rattle of a machine gun. At our car. Uh, come across. At your car. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I tried to roll before. I was trying to see if they're going to do a spot hidden uh, at all, uh, even with this ban uh, below fifty percent. So I assume they. They figured it out. Uh, yeah, so they, they pass by and they, they shoot up the fucking, they, you know, they shoot up the car uh, and they shoot up, uh, you know, window break. And here is where I don't actually got to double check the rules. What kind of armor do you have? Because they're going to die and, and fucking hit you this time. Uh, so I have to double check about armor. Or what kind of cover you get from the car. Uh, because the Tommy machine gun can still hurt you. So you may die, die for cover, right? I mean, you have enough time. Automatic fire. It's a burst fire. What the hell is here, is here about? I don't know what the armor rules are. I'll be honest with you. So it's not like you can really easily dodge. So, automatic fire, divided into volleys, number of bullets in a volley equals shooter skill, divided by 10. A volley is never less than three bullets. First attempt difficulty by range of the prime modifiers. Jeez. Shit, little man. You know what? 
Yeah, I'm actually, and I, I don't really have a lot of. Let me see if I can find some info about these guys. So I have someone I can use as a character who might be making the shots. I think so. Yeah, I'll I'll go this. Okay. Uh, and so what's going to happen is. Uh, there's going to be a firearms. Really? There's nobody here who can move the fucking time. Huh. Uh, well, I'm just going to roll their, their firearms skill. Seems like. Man, these character sheets are fucking broken again. For motherfucking sake. It's really annoying. Does that roll? But it, it, that, that's not the right thing. So uh, I'm just gonna roll a D. I'm just gonna roll this. It's not set up. Okay. Uh, no. So the so the gunfire. He does it. He's not successful. He just uh, shoots and hits hits the glass uh, and peppers the car and none of you guys get hit. Uh, but it uh, they drive off, and the old man's like, uh, "Did you tell? Did, did you say get down or anything? No. Or did you guys just get down." Yeah, we, we just, just got, got down. down. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, the old man's probably got hit. Oh, 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 oh god. Okay, uh, he's he's definitely starting to bleed. Oh, why why would he attack you like that? What what do you do? Oh, uh, oh God! Somebody call me an ambulance. Oh, I have been shot. Oh, you see, he's like, you know, he's he's starting to cough. <laughs> oh. I mean, you're not too sure how bad he's been hit. He's been hit. Okay, okay sir, we'll, we'll, we'll help you. you. Boopy, do you know how to drive? Is it time for Mike to shut down? Um, it's our best TM, but he wouldn't be connected. Would, had to it, shut down. Yeah, where is he? Did, he didn't. Uh, did I miss a message? Yeah. No. He's message still connected. Can you hear me now? Yes, oh, yes, yes, we can. Yeah. yeah. And Booby Drive. I mean, yeah. Then he just, just muted it and deafened himself. himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard enough life for you old people who don't know how to use technology, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm in the prime of my life. I can still use it, of course. But... <laughs> Um, I don't know where Boopy is. He's back now. Do you still have assume... online class, this guy? Can, can we assume he can drive? Um... He just let me go. Oh, is he, did he, is he, that was that me? He was that him. That was him. He can drive, he says. Okay, he can drive. All right, yeah, look, uh, you, you guys drive, the old man kind of says, oh, uh, take, take, take me to, uh, um, I, I, I forget the name, I gotta look it up here. Uh, but he tells you the name of, of, of a hospital. He's like, quick, quick. Testing, testing. Uh, yeah. yeah. I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. yes, we can. I've got, uh, my driving is 20. No, I, that, that's driving. fine. Yeah, I mean, you're not a fucking fantastic driver, so you're not going to be like How a great you? Can you drive around the streets of New York? I can Maybe. If, if coming... <laughs> the hospital is I can probably get get us there. Well, uh Cummings might not know, but the old man's gonna try and tell you. Uh essentially he's gonna try and tell you where to go. Come on James, I'm terribly sorry about the car. Do do send us the bill.